All right. Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club. Stop and chat. Today we have a special, special, special returning guest. Mr. Rick Kosick yeah. is with us. Yes. Hey, Rick. How are you, bro? Doing good, thank you. How's everything, dude? Looking good, bro. Yeah, thank you. You know, doing as best as we can do during these times, I guess, you know? Looks like you've been getting some sun, though, bro. You've been out in the sun a lot? What's going on? Well, yeah, <laughs> I don't sit in my place all day. Think, no? Uh, I'm up early in the morning and hitting the park or first thing in the morning, you know, do my laps. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been seeing you getting laps in, dude. What park are you walking around? Uh, Pan Pacific. Oh, that's a big park, too. Wait, yeah. so what do you do? You just walk around the whole park? Walk and uh, light jog from here and there. And uh, yeah, and then do that like, you know, four, three or four times a week. And then I train over my other friend's backyard. Yes, that's awesome. So yeah, you know, just making the most of it during this weird time. You know, I'm not going to sit around and twiddle my thumbs, you know. And back in March, um, you know, I was a little. I think it was a lot heavier then. And so I just, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. And every day I just went full, like bore five miles every day, walking through the streets of like Wilshire and everything's just no cars and, mm -hmm. and experiencing this whole new reality here in the city. And uh, yeah, I just like, I don't know. I'm not going to sit around being scared, you right. know, like, so just making the most of my time, you know, and I'm still doing that. Do you enjoy doing that? Hell yeah, it's great. I mean, are you you are you trying to lose weight? Are you trying to what do you what, what's the goal here? Just yeah, to be well, healthy? Absolutely, definitely lose weight, get healthy. You know, yeah. lifestyle change, lifestyle change, yeah. lifestyle change. We only have one life, right? So we gotta make the most of it. I think a lot of us need a lifestyle change. I talk well, about it all, all the time, but I never do it. Can't, I, the year before, I got injured pretty bad. I messed mm. up my leg, and I couldn't walk really well, and I was having problems. So I think that was a contributing factor why I gained so much weight and so you know gotten to the point where I got it all worked out and so I'm just taking the next steps to keep it going it's hard to find a lifestyle change when we're so like stuck inside almost so yeah. it's like you really have to find those ways to change it and but it's also the best time yeah. it, it yeah. is it is yeah but like you know, it's some things you wouldn't do. And if we were in our normal society, yeah. we wouldn't be doing these changes sometimes. You totally. know what I mean? Totally. So yeah. it's nice that you, you got to realize that during this and, you know. Yeah, it takes a pandemic to really make you change your life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really, Whatever it takes, man. Yeah. Whatever yeah. it takes. Yeah. yeah. Raj, the, the mouse is on the screen, bro, over here. I don't know what's going on. There you go. Hey, thank you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> We're working with new technology back there, Rick. That's great. I yeah. like to see the advancements of the show. It's come along great. We try, man. We're, We're trying, it bro. We're, We're making it work. It. Real shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do a great job of it. Oh, dude, I, I can't. Mean, how you guys been with all this, you know, this new lifestyle we're having to deal with? Uh, I mean, I'm fine because I didn't really do much before. I mean, I, I am, I, I've always been a homebody, you know, but I, it, it's affected the show. You know, having virtual guests and everything and like we, we're not like the biggest fans of it. But at the same time, you know, we all have families. We all, you know, other people have. We got to worry about, you know, got to worry about things, you know, yeah. keep everything. No, I, I, I could have been good to come in there because I've been tested 37 times. See, <laughs> now I haven't. I've been tested once. No, I might be nervous about you. See, <laughs> yeah, see, I've been tested. I've been tested several times. I'm trying to do it like once a week, but it's kind of hard to. But yeah. Right. But other than that, it's it's good though. I mean, I, I'm I mean I'm fine. You know, I can't go to the supermarket as much as I'd like to. I can't do things. I, I still order stuff online. I you know I I I play it relatively safe. You know. I go to the market all the time. Oh, oh really? yeah, me and too. <laughs> I just you know I'm, I can't be. It look. If there's germs on what you order from delivery, it's the same as going to the store and getting it. You know, you're going to get it either way if you get it, you know, right. so. Mm -hmm. Right. But there's other people around and stuff like I, I won't lie. I won't sit here and lie to you. Like I do go to the store, but I try to go to the store when it's going to close or this or that. I'll go to the little liquor market by my house by because nobody's in there. You know, I go in, get my shit real quick and I'm out. The only thing that sucks I about hit the moments correctly for me. You know, I don't want to wait in the line. It was really weird when this all unfolded and how everyone was behaving. I saw this, the grossest behavior in people. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. believe it. You know, it was just, 
you know, because I live across the street from the farmer's market and I was buying some meats and there's this guy like be like, I want five pounds of this, six pounds of that, eight pounds of this. Oh, yeah. and, this, this. and I was just like, oh, my God, this guy's a gross human being. He's just hoarding, you know, and toilet paper and, every, and everyone would be waiting these long lines at the you know Whole Foods or the Trader Joe's when you could just go across the street and buy your stuff and you're, you're in and out, you know, right. and I'm just like, what are these people doing? You know, like, yeah, if you go to Trader Joe's later in the day now, everything's gone. Yeah. Like you have to go early on to get everything that you naturally kind of want. Or at the end you go there and you're just like, oh, it's slim pickings, get what you can. I found the trick. This is the thing. I think it was like probably the first two weeks into the, the whole pandemic in the congested areas that you stay in, those local markets are going to be flooded. Yeah. Right. So, best time for us to like take a nice little drive since we're not out yeah. we're gonna take a nice little drive to fucking newberry park <laughs> yeah. or, you know what i'm saying okay. and yeah. you go out to these these stores there is nobody oh bro. wow nobody so i was yeah. just like i ain't waiting in line i'm gonna drive and sit in my car and and and, and wait this out in the car as yeah. in my drive because we're not getting out mm -hmm. and driving anywhere so i'm gonna take a 30 minute drive to the store and i could get out and really Get what I need, and nobody bothers me, and no fucking lines. Well, yeah. thanks to this episode, there will be people there now. In well, Park. shit. <laughs> yeah. God no, man. it's all under control now. You know, like yeah. the Trader Joe's here was the. I'm like, one morning I was like, all right, I'm gonna be there right when they open up, and I'm gonna get what I need, and I'll be good. And I walk in, and it was just pure chaos, mm -hmm. and I was just shocked. I was like, holy crap, man, this is not cool. And uh, so I just basically would just shop at the whole, you know, farmer's market and then I'd walk down to the Target and no one goes to Target because it's not cool, you know? It's like, <laughs> right. I guess that would be your Target. My Target yeah, my line for days. Popping, pop oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mine, the one down the street here, is kind of like in, hidden in a weird way. It's yeah. in the Beverly Connection. Yeah, okay. yeah, well, it doesn't matter now. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so no one would go there, you know? But yeah, things would be off the shelf, but you could still get things, you know? There would be yeah. no line. Yep. Meanwhile, everyone's still waiting at Whole Foods and, you know, Trader Joe's and... Yep. Yeah, the, thing, the problem was that everyone was hoarding so hard that it takes a couple of days to restock these shelves to get a system going. Exactly. And when everything keeps getting wiped out, you can't get back on your feet. Right. And that's what was happening, basically, when all yeah. this stuff. Yeah. I mean, going in the supermarket, the empty sh It was crazy. I mean, I, I don't need to tell you because everybody knew. Everybody knows. But it was it was insane, Rick. Yeah. It was terrible. Nothing. I was buying stuff that I would have never <laughs> bought. I was buying flavored packets of tuna like cajun <laughs> style i got gluten-free uh bagels and i was like what the fuck why would i get that the here? gluten <laughs> section was actually untouched yes it was really bizarre yeah. so i got all yeah. kinds of gluten I found, stuff i found myself shopping at the at the jewish uh, markets here on fairfax you know it's like okay, we you take it, we so get. get what you i still yeah. have all the tuna in my cupboard i don't know mm -hmm. what to do with it i know what you can do with you with the homeless that's true that's true, that's true. Yeah. huh do they want Cajun style tuna? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Even... For days, they'll eat that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me ask you something, Rick. Because listen, you have you 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 came on the uh, we we're doing our Christmas show. We we're doing our Christmas show, and you popped in yes. real quick. And uh, you know, you had mentioned in there that you guys are uh, busy, busy. I don't know how much you could talk about it, but Ooh. you guys are busy. Ooh doing jackass four yeah i can't talk too much about it but yes we've been you know still cranking away at the wheel you know mm -hmm. and uh we started shooting back in march before the pandemic hit right and it's it started out amazing and then all of a sudden the if you remember it started raining a ton so mm -hmm. it kind of put a damper on everything and then you know the pandemic shut it down right you know and we were done for seven months you know, it was kind of a bummer because, you know, things were hot, man. We sure. Were, it was fun, you know, and it was clicking. Everything chemistry was clicking. still there. And, yeah. But yeah, it's been an interesting adjustment to, you know, go into set and you have to do a test every morning. Right. And that's why I say about 37 COVID tests now, <laughs> all been negative. And, um, yeah, it's like the first day going back felt like I was walking on a sci-fi movie set. I was like, what the <laughs> what is this? fuck is going on? You know, like Do you have to get tested ahead. every time you go in to shoot? Yes. Every, every day. single time. Every day. Wow. Because huh. I'm one of the people that's closest to the cast, so we all get tested the same. And uh 
But you know what? It was a weird adjustment at first, but it, it, I got used to it, and I'm fine with it. We're still having a bunch of fun. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know. I'm just grateful to be working still. Fuck yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, we've been hearing little things here and there about the jackass stuff, and we have actually just heard it, that it is going amazing. Like, yeah. it, it's like we've heard from different sources that it's almost better than any previous jackasses, which is hard to do. I, yeah. You know, I kind of felt the same way. <laughs> 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 oh, you did? <laughs> okay. So our but, sources uh, are, are, correct. are correct. It's going great. Let's it's going good. It's going great. Like, I'm really excited for the day that everyone gets to enjoy this and have a good laugh because I'm sure everyone could use a good laugh right now. Yes, please. Right. When When is that day? I don't know. It's not, <laughs> I have no idea. I, I'm Hopefully when theaters it, open up, because this is a, a, you know, you want to sit in a theater and, oh, and enjoy okay. this type of film. Sure, it's right. like a roller coaster ride. You know, that's how every Jackass movie's ever been. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, when it's like a contagious thing, when, when you're grossed out, you're going to be grossed out. When you're laughing, you're going to be laughing. And, you know, it's like a fun ride. I mean, there is something missing about just sitting at your, ho- at your house and clicking watch now. <laughs> You know, when you're in the theater and everybody's That's, reacting yeah, to it. And, sure. Dude, seeing yeah. those movies it, yeah. in the movie theater, a Jackass movie is way different than oh any God. other movie, For dude. Sure. That's like the one time that everyone's laughing their fucking asses off yeah. or yeah. disgusted. Right. One of those two. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. It was fun seeing uh, the last film in 3D. That's right. It was. Yeah, yeah. Jackass 3D. What year is it? You know, that we, we, we actually oh. used true 3D cameras. So you have the the best, uh, you know, visual experience as far as 3D goes. And then after that, they just started doing this post-conversion 3D and kind of started sucking pretty bad and the whole fucking phenomena went away. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I remember we, we actually touched on this during your ep- Nine Club episode. We were, um, that you guys actually used real 3D cameras to film that. Yeah. Because nowadays they could film it with one camera and then put... Some type of 3D yeah. filter on it or something like that. I had this huge ass camera. It was like 30 pounds with two cameras on it. And they just basically, you know, this is some of the first designs of these type of cameras. And I just hold the camera and it's, there's a cable going back to some guy that pulls the focus for you. And like, right. so, and like the first week, I was just like killing my back because it was like so oh. front heavy. And so you're kind of trying to counterbalance it. And so, huh. yeah, mm. I, would, I would like have. Yeah, take the camera off and I would just drop to the ground because it was so much pain. Oh my God. But was it worth it though? Because you said you it Hell was yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Got the shot. Yeah. Shit. Well, I'm excited to see this Jackass 4, bro. Yeah, me too. I'm yeah, excited. Me too. Man. If you need it's a cameo, Chris will get in there. You need to put like a snake or no, something. Yeah. No. Usually <laughs> I'm all for it, Rick. Usually I will cameo away. But not this not time. For this. Uh-uh. I don't know. I'd, it'd be fun to go and watch. You know, I, I don't know. You, you can't do all that stuff now, but uh, it'd be interesting to watch some of these things. Yeah. Are being you know, to see the know. action, it's see a, the magic happen. Well, keep me in mind if anything pops up. If there's an extra COVID test laying around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had Spike out on set a couple times. He's come a couple times. He's doesn't really want to be around a lot of people right now. And sure. I respect that. And sure. You like you don't want to like be around people because of COVID and then you don't want to be around anyone because you might just get fucked with on the show. Oh, yeah. yeah, you gotta look out for two days. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Like out of nowhere, you just get freaking hit by a huge hand or fucking Rick, I can if you want, I can be the the your your eyes, your eyes and ears. You know? <laughs> eyes in the back of <laughs> your head. Okay. If I have if I have to take one for the team, I'll do it. Okay. You know, it's okay. like whatever. I got you. It's all I good. Gotcha. Comes with the territory now, you know. Dude, like if you get smoked on the show and then you come home and you're like, "What happened to you?" You're like, dude, I can't tell you, but I just got like smoked up today. I can't tell you at all. But I got smoked today. Fuck. You got? I got a little something to show you. Check this out. What do you got? What do you got? Rick? I brought show this out. Time. My camera from Big Brother. Oh. oh. Okay. What? What year did you get that camera? Let's saw a big brother. Wow. This, this camera, the night, yeah, looked, I looked it up because I totally forgot. 1989. What? Wow. You know what, Rick? It's not that far off from the kind of the cannons they make today. This thing is a tank. It's so heavy. Wait, that's when you got that camera, Rick? Or it came out at that time? I think it came out. I think I bought it used. Okay. So, uh, so maybe early 90s, you know, and I bought it used. So, um, but... Yeah, I think it still works, to, you know, and, and I was thinking it would be really cool to do. And when the timing is right, I should come out and do a photo shoot of the Nine Club 
crew. You guys. Yeah. Oh, Let's get that oh, yes. hard. Yeah. With that camera. With this camera. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Film. As, obviously, it's film. So, dude, that'd be amazing. Wait, quick question. Yeah, did, did, did you bring that out when we went to shoot uh, our Big Brother interview? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. so Absolutely. Amazing. Look at that, the, dude. The history right there with that thing, bro. You just think how many rolls of film have been yeah. wound through that camera. It shoots 5.5 frames per second motor drive. <laughs> okay, so 5.5 frames. How many frames come in a, what is it, 36 in a roll or something? 36. Like? So, so the thing is, like, and every guy would probably back me on this, every photographer. So you would shoot a photo, a sequence, and you're going to miss a moment. So, you know, back then, it wasn't as consistent as it is today, obvious. Sure. So you'll go back and you go, okay, I'll take this frame and put it in. So I have, like, maybe one extra frame in the, in the sequence, you know? Mm. So it looks more smooth, you know? like You essentially piece it together. I know that's not kind of a gr great term, but you would piece it together, essentially. Yeah. If there was a long crooked grind, you'd put like maybe the other crooked grind, like a certain slide that, a certain slide that in, yeah. fill it yeah. all in yeah. a little bit. Yeah. You might not get the, the takeoff perfect or mm -hmm. like maybe you might miss the flip in a weird way. And cause it's only going so fast, you yeah. know? Yeah. I used to get in so much trouble with uh, Larry Flint publications because the, the woman who ran it, she'd be like, why are you buying so much film? And I had to sit and explain like, Hey, we shoot sequences and a lot of times these guys don't make the tricks. And so we just keep shooting until we get the trick, you know, and yeah. this is before digital. I remember uh, even some photographer, I mean, doing sequences and stuff, even some photographers would, you, they'd get you getting in, right? They got that. And then from there, they would just shoot halfway through uh, the exit. They would go halfway through the trick. And then if you pull it, you right. pull it. If you don't, you don't. Now you're not wasting all the film Prior. from ollie to mid trick yeah most cameras now are 20 frames per second yeah oh you, wow you don't, need, you don't need to do that so big brother cam so what did that that shot everything bro that was with you at all times yeah i just pulled my bag out i'm like jesus this thing i remember it hurt my back it's so heavy like, oh, like i don't think anyone uses these type of flashes anymore oh wow yeah. I, oh my god i remember yeah this. Sun packs. Yeah. I'm sure this company's out of business. If you weren't skating, the photographer would make you hold the cam hold that flash too. Yeah. That's the homie supporting the homies. homies supporting right there. the homies, man. <laughs> Is there like a certain time that you remember that like the some some skateboarder just uh, they just took too many rolls out and it was insane. You had to like, stop. A certain trick or person. Uh, What's the guy most tricks you gone through? Guy Mariano. Guy Mariano, man, he was trying something really hard and it's just you know, whatever it took, man, to get the shot, I didn't care. You yeah, know? yeah like, for sure. But that's, you know, that's that was where skateboarding was at back then. He was pushing the limits. Skateboards are really consistent now. It'd be interesting to go back to film. Hmm. I mean, I don't know why you well, would. Yeah. I don't know why you would. <laughs> Some things actually film look cool on film. Obviously, like, you know, it's, it looks different man i remember like, like a t with his hasselblad his hasselblad camera like yeah. oh shit he was breaking up the i still hasselblad. have a hasselblad too Ooh, you should bring that one out too yeah when we do a nightclub <laughs> for portrait when we do the nightclub shoot man oh i think he's over the interview we offended <laughs> yes. him he's got a guitar damn a little amp stairway to heaven oh man free bird <laughs> what do we got here rick I'll use this for portraits. Am I mistaken or do yeah. they, they have a digital hustle blood oh, now? Oh, wow. They I think they do. They do. Yeah. Film, baby. So is it hard to find film? No. No? It's still readily available, man. What's the size frame of that house of blood? 120. 120. So it's like a roll like that tall. Probably shoots, I think, depending on maybe 20 shots. Yeah, I was about to say 20. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that's such a good uh, portrait camera. Absolutely. Such a good yeah, portrait man. camera. Those cameras actually go for a good amount of money. Hasselblads? I think so. I mean, brand new, they're what, thousands of dollars, right? I'm sure the ones today are super expensive. I don't know what this one's worth. I have to look it up. Yeah. Huh. I, I might sound stupid on this, but do they do like digital ones of those or is it only film? No, they have digital ones now. Okay. Can you really tell a difference right away if it's like digital or film? I think film just has a certain look, has a, a grain mm -hmm. to it, and it's like a softness. It's like... And like digital is like super sharp, you know, and it just looks, you can totally tell the difference between digital and film, I think. And 
that's why you know you look up movies like the some of the like great films are shot with film you know yeah like, yeah do you have like a preference any, like, Quentin Tarantino films are all shot in film yeah do you have a preference of what you like to, you like to shoot with film well sure if there's money a budget for it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know whatever works works you know and if, as long as the shot looks good you know it's, it could be the crappiest camera it's the depending on the ability of the dp you know and, can't yeah. they make digital look like film these days i would imagine that that probably be it's the getting there yeah. it, it's it really is i'm there's like there's all these new cameras that are coming out now there's just yeah. that new sony fx6 4K, 120 frames second, hmm. and there's a new Canon SC70. That's they're like all smaller now, but they're just super insane what they can do. Like yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, cameras wow. are nuts. How they're yeah. changing like every like three to five years. Like like pretty narrow. Yeah, I'm I'm looking to purchase something, but I'm like I don't know, man. It's like I'm afraid that it's like I'm gonna buy this and it's gonna be obsolete by next year. That's how it's working. It seems really. You can't keep up, really. You got to kind of choose your poison and what you like. Sometimes. Exactly. You know, just stick with it. You'll be fine. You know. Yeah. yeah. How much do those go go for now? Like a new camera like that. A new one, that new Sony FX6. It's like six grand. Ooh. And it's like a really smaller too, and it's it'd be perfect for skate filming too because it's smaller and uh, just really easy to get around. I think and. But you know what? Skate filmers don't care. They want to use their VX piece of shit. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not all of them do, but no, some of them yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck <laughs> that shitty camera. <laughs> You're like, it's had its time. I, I, you, it seems like you have an opinion on this, bro. It's, uh, yeah. Well, a little bit. listen, we all use the VX. Come on. Let's, uh, I still have mine. You you keep yeah. all your old shit, it seems like. I love I that. Yeah, I have. I don't know why. <laughs> you, you never know. There could be a time and place. I don't know if it's work. You know, you probably get it better. I think it still works, you know, but it's like we did all the Big Brother videos with it and the early day, early TV show days of Jackass. I gotcha. Oh, oh wow. That's that's it's right. history, though, dude. I, I mean, I would hold on to that stuff, yeah, too. Yeah. You know, it's just, yeah. Yeah. It's a part of uh, oh your, yeah, your life you totally. Know? Yeah, know. hey, cameras are they, they trip me out. I'm glad I'm not into them because I would have spent a lot of money on. Well, it. It, yeah. it's amazing that he's he's talking about shooting photos, but you could film with it too. The same camera? No, well, the Sony, the new Sony FX6 is strictly motion picture cameras. Oh, hard. okay, okay, gotcha. Because gotcha. like, there's some cameras where you could straight up do both right yeah i think so yeah there's there's definitely there is you know the the, the sony camera is a little um a I've, i don't know the number make the number but yeah you can but then you know you the the camera you're talking about the sony uh whatever it is fs6 or something you then you have to buy lenses right mm -hmm. you got to buy the Y. you got to yeah. buy the thing yeah. the long lenses, lenses the whole thing it's yeah, a lot well, of money it's a lot of money it is, but it's worth investment if you're into that. It's got to keep up with these uh, amazing videos that are coming out. I, you know, some of these videos I've seen this last year, really, really stoked, you know? like oh, yeah. yeah. Are you still up on, do you, I mean, do you pay attention to skateboarding as much as you used to? Like, are you still watching all these videos or you kind of just pick and choose? The important them? ones, definitely. Oh, yeah. I really love Baker 4. Okay, yeah. gotcha. And I love the new Death Wish video. Yeah. Sick. Wow, yeah. That right. Was that was just blew my mind. Amazing. I couldn't believe the parts there these guys are doing. Oh my God. And I really like Jim Greco's new video. Jim Greco's oh, new yeah, video. Yeah, that was rad. Mm -hmm. Uh, carousel. What was it called? The uh, oh, glass carousel. Glass, glass carousel. carousel. Yes. Yeah, I thought it was cool. You know, it, it's just kind of his way of his take on things, and it's like his little bubble that he's in, and he you know allows you in, and it's like it's kind of a little story, and I like how he just hits those crazy little transitions downtown LA, which mm -hmm. I I wouldn't want to go down there now. It's probably way too dangerous. Oh yeah, with the homeless, you know, yeah. and um, so. But yeah, he shreds that shit. I was going to say, it's just nice killing. to know that he's out there still killing it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's right. And, he, and he's just doing what he wants to do. He, he, you know, he's, it's his narrative of what he wants to share. And I respect that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That's can, what it should be. When you can get to that yeah. point, for sure. You for know. sure. I mean, he Jim Greco. He doesn't actually need to skate. That's the funny thing. He's doing this because he loves skateboarding. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the dude is kind of set, as far as I've heard, like, you know, he's done well for himself as mm. far as investing and whatnot. So this is all, you can tell, based on him loving skateboarding and actually creating a cool piece. 
So Love that. And he was so known for doing the hammers after Black Hammer. Like, he was that dude. Mm -hmm. And to see him, like, actually just have fun with it, too, mm -hmm. and be, like, look good doing it and be fun but to But still watch. doing the hardest tricks. Yeah, still. Yeah. And you're like, this is awesome as well. You know what I mean? So, man. Yeah. Cheers to him, man. So, do you, maybe you guys know there was that one guy in the Death Wish video that... I think he kid flip or ollie the pink taco on sunset that bumped the bump. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Kirby. Kirby. How do you get the speed for that? Did he get pulled by a motorcycle? Probably bungee. He's a bungee Bung king. Bu oh, bungee is that king. what it is? The bungee king. Was that yeah. the T Eddie? Did you see those T Eddie awards? I think he got some kind of type of bungee, bungee award. award. I, don't, I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> I think he did get a bungee yeah. award. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> He's uh. Yeah. Yeah. He uses a bungee a lot. Is that looked down upon? No, I don't think so. No, nah. I don't think so. I mean, if nah. you can get your little speed, get your speed however you can. Yeah, I mean, if especially you're, if yeah, you're going to take it, a few, quite a few times to do that, like pushing that speed towards that, like your legs get fucked up. Yeah, when you're alling or when you're kick flipping an entire street. Yeah. By all means, bungee, bungee approved. In, whatever and like you want, the man. spot where it's at, like you can't really, it's hard probably to get a motorcycle right there just to uh, launch you in like, what? what is it? I don't even know, 100 feet or something like that? I mean, it's a uh, two yeah, it's, lane it's a road. It's a, it's a short takeoff. So it's like, you need to do a bungee, I think. <sighs> yeah, like I you, just think it's amazing after all these years, like we've looked at that and thought about, oh, what if someone could, you know, and finally 20 some years later, some guy does it, you know, like. Didn't somebody else ollie yeah, it though first? John Ciano. Yeah, John, John Ciano. He, he ollied it first in, in a high video. High video. Yeah. But then the up it with the kickflip is the next level. Yeah. When you go, when you're flipping your board over shit like that, you're going yeah. that fast, yeah. that far. That's what? that's that's some talent. It's funny too because I think John Ciano went the other way. What? Yeah. Did he went uphill. I think I I believe so. I could be tripping, but I think that's well, the way I and saw it. And then he pushed himself. Then we'll have to, uh, maybe I don't know. I don't we'll know. Have to look into that. Yeah. Either it's way, like it's a, wild. I could I could have sworn because he's goofy. He's goofy. Oh, he's goofy. So he's his goofy. back would have been towards. Hmm. We don't know, Rick. Hmm. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll figure it out. You know, we'll let you know. Yeah, I really also like that one dude who uh, went down that crazy embankment on Sunset. Oh, Pedro Delfino. <sighs> Insane. Fuck. Insane, man. Yeah, he scares me. He's got control. Yeah, I, I looked at that thing for years. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, that's so cool. Someone would do that. You know, like. I always I looked at it and I was like, oh, that'd be a cool trick to like keep the fakie on or something like that, not to ride down the top of it Oof. or go oh, off a mm. roof. I was like, yeah, mm -mm. insane. There's right. more of those around town. Just wait for someone to hit it. Oof. God, Oof. man. What about the Godspeed video? Did you see that one? The no, I think Sith? you guys were talking about the other night. And I didn't. I haven't watched it yet. It's a good watch, man. It I think is. you it really, really enjoy it. It's a good, good video. You it's know. an all-star crew too. It's got a shot and all. Just yeah, so don't good. let the time because it's an hour long. Don't mm -hmm. let the time detour you because it's a good. Listen, I mean, we we talk about on the show too. Like people put out these parts on Thrasher, Thrasher, and they break up the parts and they do this. With, these guys put out a whole full-length hour-long video out in yeah. this day and age. Like it just goes to show. Yeah, I mean, people. It, there's a. People want to see it. Yeah, you know, yeah. you don't have to break up all your videos, yeah. dude. I, and, I watched that part the other day with that dude from. I think he skates for Power. He wears the helmet. Andy Anderson. Andy, mm -hmm. yeah. Fucking that too. He was nuts. Yeah, he's awesome. Totally, yeah, he is really, really tense. Dude, talented. that Godspeed video got like a million views in like a week. In a week, so. yeah. Like that's that's it's amazing. Impressive. That's when you know people are actually watching the video mm -hmm. for sure. That's what's cool for sure. Yeah. Do you, you think we'll get a million views on this episode of the uh, Stop of course. and Jazz? <laughs> <laughs> you ask Knoxville uh, to promote the episode? Knoxville? Well, <laughs> maybe you should have him on as a guest. Hey, Johnny, will you promote my episode of the <laughs> night? <laughs> <That's how> that, <laughs> if you don't mind, man. Really. Yeah. Please. Please. Come on. <laughs> Come on, all right. Dog. Get Steve O I on love it that. too. Let's get the cast. Yeah, get Steve O. Rick's talking to all these guys at lunch at the lunch table. Like, hey guys. No, he's got him on a group chat. He's group like, hey. chat. <laughs> you should get some of the other guys on here. You should get Cliver on here. Dude, we've talked about it. Down. We we Rick, as soon as we can have people back in the studio, we're gonna go crazy with guests. We're gonna go crazy. We already have yeah, guests lined up, he, ready to go. It's exciting to see what he, how he's designing these cool SBs. And just, yeah. Next, next you know, he's that. trending on Twitter, and I'm like, Jesus, man, he might as well just become a shoe designer. Straight it's up. crazy. Yeah. I was just talking about that with these guys. I was like, that would have been a great story for us to tell on the show. Like, you know, mm -hmm. Sean Kleiber is, I mean, fuck, man. The history behind him, you know, in the industry is just 
amazing. So it would have been a great piece for us to really talk about. Yeah. But it didn't even need any because it did fine on its own. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, he's done some great board graphics. Iconic. So board man, graphics. still doing them yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he started his company, uh, Strange Love. Yep, Strange Love. Yep. And it's doing. It looks like it's doing pretty well. You know, I. Like, I didn't realize that was his company. That's awesome. I think he's going to have a pro skater soon. I don't know. I asked him. You know. Oh, interesting. Well, didn't he he's do the, like, he did the Clyde Singleton board, right? I well the original one. Well, he did some board the one recently. That's behind you, Kelly. What? The one behind you. Right there. The 101. Uh, is that from a 101 graphic? I don't know. It's a it's strange inspired love. from his 101 graphic. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a strange love board that was inspired by a 101 gra- graphic. Is that right, Raj? Correct. That's correct. Raj is being all low key. He's that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to turn up my audio on that. That's correct. It's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> bro. Turn it up all the way there. There you go. You're at 80, 80 dB, huh? There you go. Hey, Ooh, he's there kicking. he is. Okay, we're gonna turn you back down. No, <laughs> we, we were actually talking before the show um, about you and Jerron. You and Jerron's history going out and shooting. We we touched on it for a little second during the live Christmas show about you shooting his first interview. Is it was the first interview? I think it was one of the, yeah, one of the first interviews for sure. Or the interview, an interview for Big Brother. Yeah. I think one in, one of my first interviews in general. Yeah, it was. I mean, I've had like fucking little like Amburglar type of deal. Like <laughs> you know, on Slap or some shit, but never yeah. like an actual interview. So that was like a, yeah. How did that even come about? Do you remember? Um, I believe Rick reached out and was like, hey, you, you down to do an interview? And I was like, yeah, oh, <laughs> let's go. Perfect. And this is like right around the time when I first moved out of my uh, out of my mom's crib and uh, I was living with Tim. So we went like to my little local spots around my, my around my house, you know, yeah. and really made it happen. That's for sure. I didn't have a plan at all. That's I, I remember that. <laughs> so but it worked out, you know, that's great. Yeah, we made to make it happen and it's funny you know like some of these photos resurfaced and people tag me on instagram and i'm like i don't think i took this picture and they're like oh you took it oh, <laughs> and then i like, go show my photo credit i'm like oh i guess i did you didn't, you didn't remember that you didn't remember that day <laughs> <laughs> well, back then, I mean, you you must have been shooting. I mean, busy. This is yeah. what you were doing. It was a seven day a week job. Seven day a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, laying man, in, was, laying in the gutter somewhere. Like it's crazy. Laying in the dirt. Yeah, trying to get the shot and doing whatever it takes to make a monthly magazine was a lot of work. How long do you think it took you to, for you and Jerron to do that uh, interview? Uh, it wasn't too long. Like, maybe like a, two months, month and a half. Yeah, yeah. give okay. or take. That's pretty quick. Yeah, give or take. I mean, at that time, fucking, you know, that young spirit was yeah. just ready. Yeah. You know? Did we uh, get that? We got that still? We yeah. got that? Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. move on. Yeah. Let's, go. let's go. Let's move on. Yeah, we Three tried to hit still, a... maybe a portrait, and then, you know, maybe four sequences, and we're good. Yeah. Damn. Get God. the photo. Like, I'll come back later for the footy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, dude, that's the thing, too. I didn't have no film or all that shit was just shot photos. It was like... We, that shit's not done these days now. You no. people go out, they go out with full production. Like they got a photographer, they got couple filmers. You know what I mean? Now it's like way, di- way different. I, I same thing. Yeah, we go out and shoot. Hey, you either had a photographer, or you had a filmer. Yep. If you had both, that was the greatest day. Ever. Amazing. Didn't always turn out that way. Then the then the filmer gets in your way of your shot, and that's when the arguments start uh, occurring. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a filmer and the photographer that were actually beefing, and no wonder why we didn't have both Straight at the same up, time. Dude. Get out yeah, of my I shot. Was, I was always wanted to be just exclusive, you know. So it's like there's no this is the one and only shot, you know, and so it made it more special. Oh, you would re- oh you'd you'd prefer that. Absolutely. Okay. Interesting. I'm trying I, to think about I it. I wasn't even tripping on it then. That, I yeah. swear. I could, it, in hindsight, like I was just like, let's go out and get it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I, right, I yeah. didn't like, wait, we need a filmer, Rick. Like, where's the filmer? Like right. that, that wasn't even on the radar. Well, dude, that was a big, magazines were big back then. Oh, just totally. as big as the video. So yeah. it's like either one's good. Totally. Yeah. That's why I think I probably didn't even dawn on me. Like we need to film this as well. Like, no, dude, right, we're, we're going right. to go capture this. It's going to be a big brother thing. And getting yeah. an interview is quicker than, you know, filming a whole video part. Right. So that's an easier, man, I remember when the portrait, it was ready for the portrait time. I'd be like, yes. Either, <laughs> either we're like halfway done or we're like wrapping it up. And this is great. Yeah. Like we're getting the portrait done. When you're getting the portrait, that means it's done. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The man. cherry on the top. That's rad yeah. though, man. It's such a good thing that you guys just, I, I want to pull that up. 
Do you remember which Big Brother that was in? Oh my gosh, be I, rad to I, pull that uh, that issue out. I know. I don't remember. Yeah, I wish that. I had it right here, guys, but I don't. I don't. I have it archived at the house Dug somewhere you. for sure. We got to get that. Yeah, we got to get that. Oh, I kind of regret see. the fact, you know, I got I got to the point where I was so busy, you know, so burned out that I, I stopped like taking them the issues home. I was just like, ah, fuck, who cares? You know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yes. There's those moments you know? of times that that happens though, Rick. Really, you're just so caught up in it, you're like, fuck it, I forgot it. Whatever, it's all good. I could get it. I could get yeah. it later. <laughs> you know, that's, well. Can't get it now. <laughs> it's so funny that you say burnout because it's like, God, you never, who would think that you're getting burnt out, like going and shooting probably the best skateboarders in the world at that time, you know? It's like, of course, like you said, a seven day a week thing, but geez, man, you were around some fucking talent at that time. Yeah, sure was. It's just a hustle, you know? And yeah. like, you're just, you're going, you're getting kicked out everywhere. And <laughs> it's true. It wasn't as many there's no skate parks what's interesting for your standpoint is like you got to go into a lot of different cliques in skateboarding because that was such a big thing like there's the girl dudes there's like the toy machine dudes like you got to see all the spectrum of skateboarding back then which is pretty rad that's a pretty good uh question with a perspective uh you know it's like it felt like you go in you make friends with these guys next you know and i don't see you for like months bump out bump to them at a trade show or yeah. Chipotle. There's no Chipotle back then. Oh, <laughs> Taco, yeah, ta Taco Bell. Boston, yeah. Boston Market. Boston, Boston Market. Market. There you go. That shit's still around. No, it, Cuc it was Cucaroo. Cucaroo. <laughs> wow. Damn. Holy shit. That shit Remember just that place? fell off. That so was hard. I used to man. I used to frequent Cucaroo. Wasn't it mm, like a crazy murder with Cucaroo? What? Was there? I don't yeah, think. There's a, like a there's a whole thing where um. One of the owners was murdered or something like that. We're going to have to look that up. That's probably really? another fact check. We'll get back to you on that, Rick. We'll, <laughs> we'll text you all these things later. Man. Yes. I always one. thought they sold off the company and the quality went down. I stopped going. It was like, this sucks. Changed up. I mean, I do remember the quality kind of dipping a little bit, but for a while there, there was, it was a uh, cuckoo. Mm -hmm. We're going to yeah. cuckoo. <laughs> yeah. go chicken. California chicken's a new cuckoo. You think their shit's falling off? <laughs> no. Oh, no, no. Calvin Jim Cafe? California, yeah, California. That shit is fire. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty consistent. Man. Yeah, I'll play down for a while. I, I just ate the one over on uh, Melrose just the other day. It's still there, man, for like Hold, 25 years. Holding it down. You get the chicken pasta? The Chinese chicken salad. Chinese. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Delicious. Man. So, hey, you said you were like, you've been, you know, working out and doing stuff a lot lately. Have you changed your eating habits at all, too? Yeah, I have, you know, but, uh, you know, with holidays, you kind of slip a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> totally. I did the same thing. but mm -hmm. Yeah, but, you know, that's the next regimen part. I'm, like, dialing in, and it's just uh, talking, like, well, what if we, uh, some of the guys are train work, what if we just cut out all sugar for a week? Mm -hmm. And that means everything, because sugar's in everything. It's, it's yeah. in everything. It really it's is. It's almost impossible. So just a, just experiment to see what it'd be like, you know? It's like a video game. You just kind of have to do the tweaks and hit the buttons mm -hmm. go for it see how it works sugar how it works sugar is a big thing though rick i try to take as much sugar out of my diet as possible it's not possible but i try to you know the the, the late night little candy bar or whatever the little i gotta get away the from sweet that. shit yeah that's yeah. what i try to stay away i'm like no okay i can't do I've that. Been really night. trying to have like my last meal by six o'clock at night and don't eat anything until the next morning that's so. yeah. tough i don't eat yeah. anything till till noon like I, I oh in the morning yeah I yeah don't, I don't eat I stop eating before eight and then I don't eat until about after after noon. So it's so, sort of like an intermittent fasting. Yeah, yeah I was and, about to say, yeah. and that and that and that works, dude. I I put on some pounds during the holidays and that was what a week ago. I lost weight real fast. Intermittent fasting and working out every day, that shit would that weight flew off of me, dude. And you're not eating I past doing that roping yeah. too what jump roping will definitely help i'll say that yeah much. and skating that'll help too but you could for skateboarders if you just skate and do that you'll you just naturally kind of do that you know it sheds pretty quick so wait you're getting two meals in a day two meals yeah. and i'll snack maybe sometimes yeah, yeah but if you get two meals in a day i don't know your body just adapts to it and next thing you know you just forget like you don't get hungry at night i think that's the hardest part for me yeah. is when you're hungry at night and you can't go to sleep Mm -hmm. You know, like, and you can't, you're not supposed to eat. That's I hard. feel like if I eat too late in the evening, I can't sleep good at night because my body's just still working that burn that energy yeah. off. My mind's just racing, and just it just fucks me up. Your body's working. There's everyone has their own way of 
how they lose. And their everybody's hair. different, bro. Yeah, everybody's everyone. makeup different. You totally. Know? Yeah. Like, yeah. What may work for you may not work for me. Yeah. Once you find what's good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. California Chicken Cafe, Kukuru, <laughs> all that. All of that. What's that photo behind? Is that a bull fight? Is that a? I can barely make it out. It looks Johnny, Knoxville. Johnny Knoxville getting gored. It's uh him. It was a, actually at the uh, contents page of Big Brother magazine. The first time he ever rode a bull. Okay. <laughs> okay. Man. Oh, he was riding the bull. Well, for a second. <laughs> Until he got bucked off. I, he got Rick, smoked. these people trip me out, bro. Listen, I, 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 I don't. I've never met Johnny Knoxville, but Steve O, all the guys on there. Like I've, I've, people get fucked up walking off of a curb wrong, you know, and these guys are riding bulls. They're doing this. They're jumping out of there. They're, 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 it's, Insane. it blows my mind. It baffles me too. And like some of the, over the years, I just, I trip out why he likes it so much, you know? And, like, <laughs> yeah. Yo, why do you like this shit? Jesus. I can't believe you film it. Like, do you cringe at all? Do you like, that's what I was going like, to Do you like, clinch at all? Like, you're like, oh shit, that was fucked. Like you can't turn away. Is, I think it was, was it Jackass? One or two were the, yeah, a, yeah, not a bull, but a, a, something, uh, one of those vicious animals comes shooting out of the pen. It's <laughs> hard. It's raining just super hard. We're out there shooting. And I'm like, man, this is dark. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, yes. This is like, it's this, this ain't cool, you know, but <laughs> it was scary. But at least, you know, he was safe, you know, but hey, still, but. He worked that out. He did. What, what he happened must, though? Like, have. so you had? Did you like? F- do you ever flinch at all filming <laughs> this stuff? No, no. But it's just <laughs> like he's the, used to it. Dude gets smoked, and you're in straight face filming it. Like, yeah, like, like how do you not like, flinch? Yeah, what is your what? What is your reaction? <laughs> do you react to it? Sometimes I'm just, I'm freaking out before it's going down, you know, because you feel like this could be the last time you watch your buddy, you know. Oh, oh, Jesus my gosh, <laughs> that's how real it is. Right there. <laughs> So you're just like a deer in headlights filming it, like. <laughs> but wait a minute, the jackass stuff has to be more. It's got to be more planned out and thought out, though, like the movies. Well, stunt absolutely. coordinators and out. shit like that. Yeah, it, it's all planned out. Everything is, you know, written down on paper. Thought I feel out. like the 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 earlier stages of jackass was is the gnarly. Like that's when you really could see your buddy. Like there's a moment I remember I uh, when we we're filming the TV show and this giant Knoxville. We're in the LA River and he's on roller skates. And I'm like, we put a ladder down across the, the the gap, you know, and I'm sitting on that. And he tries to jump it and he rolled his ankle. It was just like, oh, oh shit. I think he broke it, you know. And uh, yeah, roller skates, yeah. I think I remember it was brutal. It was like a brutal oh, ankle roll. It's awful. Oh, no. It was the one uh, spot where Jeremy Klein ollied the LA River gap. Oh, so he dropped in on the bank. And rode off a jump ramp to try to clear the LA River. I think so. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, he, <laughs> tr- he tried one try. And it was like that was the uh, the invent. That's when Buddy the lifeguard kind of was invented. You know, Pontius had this weird contraption and he pulled out of his car and just it was all kind of magic just unfolding. And these are you know these characters are still around today. Do you guys but, ever fuck with each other offset? Not too much. I mean, in a way, yeah, sure. I mean, there's jokes always around, but as far as like. Um, not nothing too bad or nothing, you know. Just you know, good rib, you know, a little yeah. joke, but nothing. Everything that's being done to them is being filmed. Like yeah. if it's gonna be done, yeah, they're I like, "No, yeah, you better get it on. You, you better, better get footy, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> better get that clip." <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, I trip out on those dudes, man. Wait, and so I, I don't know if you can like discuss this, but what do you guys do? You just sit around and come up with ideas <laughs> and just go act on them. Like the the writing of that must be pretty interesting it's a process you know and uh so it just i think it's just everyone throwing in their ideas and it funnels down to what's the best you know and what's the funnest kind of idea and it's not too dark do you come up with ideas too there's some stuff that i presented for this new movie and uh we filmed them nice yes that's tight how do you because each segment may be what like five minutes whatever how do you got to fill up a two-hour movie we film a lot of things and, you know, we'll be like, like, say, for instance, like, you know, on this one, I'd be riding home with Tremaine and we would talk about the day and what we thought worked and what didn't work. And, mm. 
you'd be like, oh yeah, that's definitely movie worthy. Or maybe this is going to be 4.5 or, you know, like, <laughs> right, nice. right. So basically, you know, everything you're going to see is the best of the best that we shot. Remember how we would talk about like we film clips and we're psyched on, but they never make the video for some reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that, does that happen? Like someone does some really fucked up skit and they get smoked and then they just. Yeah. It just doesn't make the movie because it's not, you know, there's something else that's, more, you know, stronger, you know, yeah. and it's just the same thing like a skate video, you know, like only the best clips are going to make that part. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you get a clip and you're like, oh, that was the last one. That's the last that's thing a, in the video. That's, ender. that's the ender. Yeah. It could be that way. You know, it's <laughs> like, you just like, you you know, you feel, you have a feeling, oh, this could be the uh, last thing of the movie or, right. you know, it, it just all depends on, like, you know, when you edit everything and see how it's all um, unfolding and, you know, you'll know what works. Well, you know, listen, the, the other, the, the, let's talk about like the older Jackass movies, right? When you were, cause you were filming those, you, you weren't really, you didn't, you didn't have the edit. You weren't in the editing process, right? I was in the editing process. Lot. Right, so you would see the movie as, as it was being built, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Huh. So you know, there's times where we're like, hey, you know, there's a moment I try, you know, I'll be like, I remember this. You should look at this moment of my, of my angle, you know. And so there's there's little nuances you, you you find, and you know, it just kind of sucks right now. I can't go and sit in the editing bay because of COVID. Has there ever been a a, a uh, an incident where someone missed the uh, filming it and you had to refilm it. Oh God! No, uh, uh, we have so many cameras rolling. You yeah. know, it's you know, it's because everything's very well covered. I would assume those are just skate filmers that do. Yeah, that. that's like some skate shit. I just didn't know if that <laughs> transcended into like you know. Maybe one, maybe somebody missed it, yeah. but then they yeah. have other they angles. They got other alternate yeah. angles. Because we're talking about Elijah Burl. What do you do? Like the impossible nose blunt. Yeah. And he was like, oh, oh my God. One filmer got it, one filmer didn't. Yeah, yeah Greg did, missed it. Yeah. He was like, dude, I hope you got that one. <laughs> but we're talking about a big production. We're talking about, you know, hey, roll them. Yeah. Yeah. Action. Action. Right. Yeah, because, you know, when we were shooting, we all call it out too. Like, we'll say, A camera speeding, and the, everyone everyone has to say it, you know? Oh, so, ready. Oh, okay. That's, know you're that's the smartest way to right. go about it right there. Right. Unless you're pushing the button off cycle if you're like whoops no. I'm, I'm recording when i'm yeah, not supposed yeah. to be and then i'm recording when i'm the reverse record. the reverse record that's the word <laughs> you're reverse so recording like, for like a couple hours you're like <laughs> yeah. fuck i've been reverse recording this whole time oh, if you, yeah <laughs> shit <laughs> fired yeah, it's easier. Fuck. once you start recording just let it keep going and keep going because it's 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 not easier on post you know when you're hitting you know mm -hmm. Stop the recording and start it again. Stop. It just it's such a nightmare for you know when they ed put yeah. it in editing. Just hit record, let it go until if it's an hour and a half, fine. It's That's easier it. on the post. Okay. Yeah. And is and if everybody's recording at the same time, then they just sync up the clap and and boom, they have their whole and that two Done. hours of footage. Boom. Yeah. That's why they you know I hear the, the rep I hear the reports so like you guys totally fucked this up. You know, like you're on slates. There's no time codes. What's going on? You know, and I'm like. Well, I'll make sure, you know, we'll tell the guys, like, but, well, you know, accidents happen like that, you know. That's but, true. Oh, what can you do? What can you do? You know, do a better job next time. That's exactly. what you can do. Exactly. Let me tell you something, Rick. You, we have a lot of guests on this show, man. A lot of people, everybody loves the guests who come on the show. You are one of the fan favorites. I feel like all the fans love you. You're in our, you're in our chat every Wednesday night. Like Hell people yeah. are so psyched to see you in there. Like I, I just want to thank you for, you know, being, you know, so engaged, engaged yeah. with, with us and our in our community. You know, it's amazing. Well, yeah, you know? that's that's what it takes. You know, and it's like I'm just having fun. You know, it's yeah. like. We, what do we, we have a lot of time on our hands right now. This is true. <laughs> this yeah, is true. But even before that, Rick, you were in our chats and like you were, you were always engaging, you know, and I well, said, that was I, awesome. I think, it, I think it was stems, you know, cause like we used to have a website called Jackass world mm -hmm. and we had like a community that we try to engage with and like to make it all the system work. And so I know how the, how that kind of works. And so I, I kind of like to participate and chime in a little bit, you know, and, yeah. just, and it makes people want to come back. I'm like, Oh, hopefully he'll say something or, you know, totally. I don't know. It, and just make it fun for everyone. It's what it's about. Right. Well, okay. especially nowadays, everybody, it, it's all about online interaction, you know, what, pandemic or no pandemic. That's where we're, we're that's at where right we're now at with Twitch sure. and all this stuff, YouTube, everybody's, you know, vlogging and, and chatting and doing all this stuff, Instagram live. Like mm -hmm. it's all about 
the interaction right now. That's what it's yeah. all. Everybody's everybody's doing the interaction thing, you know. And I think it's rad. Yeah. I can't do the Instagram live, and I, I just you know, there's just I have a limit. <laughs> you, got, you, got, you, got, <laughs> you put a cap on it. Okay, I feel you on that. I feel like this, you know, what we're doing right now is quality, you know. Yeah. And uh, I, I prefer to do st- cool stuff like this, and the Instagram story thing is just fucking bullshit. This. And I, I don't give a fuck, you know, and like the stories are kind of fun, you know, and like, I try to make his, you know. Are you talking about the stories uh, or the live? No, he meant the live and then he. Live. Oh, the live. Garbage. Right. Oh, you didn't see him out of Because you're just reading the comp. But see, people, that's what I'm saying. Like, people love that shit. You yeah, know? they like it's talking. Like, if they're watching, they, they want to be there. You know, if they're watching a live video. Yeah. They want to watch it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. so that's yeah. why it's like kind of cool. Yeah. So. That's why I was like I was talking to Chris earlier. I'm like the live and the Twitch are kind of sim- not they are what it they are what they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's live mm-hmm. interaction with people that want to fucking fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. want to yeah. talk. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't want to sit at a, on a computer all the fucking time. Right, to interact. It's just, to me it's just bonkers. You know, it's just I, I that's why I, I can't do Twitch. I don't think I'll ever do it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Twitch is I gnarly. shut down my Snapchat because I can't fuck with filters on my face. Just, <laughs> yes. The dog filter on your face. Yeah, you don't want a little dog dude. filter, Rick? I think you're like, bro. That Ben got rid of that shit too. <laughs> Straight yeah, up. I can't fuck with that shit. Instagram's enough. I, to be honest, Instagram is enough. Yeah, yeah for, I, me, that's, for me. I, I feel you on you that. You know what I mean? When they're like these new things, I'm like, no, 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 dude. Instagram's cool. Yeah, and oh, Twitter's yeah. still there too. Twitter. I got Twitter as well. Twitter and Instagram, those are my out. little. Yeah. yeah. I haven't. I have something I want to say on Twitter. You know, it's just it's hit or miss with that. But yeah. What about TikTok? Hell, no. Rick's dancing yeah. up a storm on TikTok. You haven't uh, seen you him. Know, yeah. I cannot fuck with TikTok. You, no. If I learn how to do the uh, the sea walk, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do the Macarena or something, dude. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Bring that back, Rick. Any, any type of dance. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah Macarena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. That yeah. on, on YouTube as well as I like, get. I see these videos that are just so poorly produced. Yeah. And uh, they just got hundreds of thousands of views. And I'm just like, what is going on here? You know, like, don't anyone care about quality? It's al- it's almost like they 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 do and they don't. You know, it's just it's yeah. the content yeah. that they're, yeah. that they're person consuming. or whoever. Yeah, that's basically. What I get like to. secondhand embarrassment when I see them dancing and trying to do these oh TikTok videos out in public. Oh, my God. You're, when you see them, you see them in public. them do oh, yeah. it, you're like, uh, Ooh, oh, I got to go the other way, dude. I can't watch it. Yeah, it's and then you look. I, I seen dude. I've can't, I don't know her name. She has like she's got this gnarly ass and she shakes it all gnarly. <laughs> And I was, I saw her skating flat ground by the, by uh, the, the skate park. And I was like, what the hell? And she was just going nuts filming. Oh, and, do you okay. know who she was? I, I can't, if dude, I, <laughs> you'll see her pop up on the pay on like whatever. <laughs> now but that then we I, talked about crazy yeah, ass, yeah. it'll pop up on our feed. Yeah. Right, no, up. but then I looked on my feed the next day. It was her and she has like millions oh, of, of followers. Wow. And it was this girl that's known for just shaking her ass all over the place. Wow. It's all about that ass. Yeah. I was like. Hey is. man, big ups to you. Is, yeah, <laughs> you're doing it. What do they say? If you got it, flown it. Oh you know yeah, what it is. Is that what the old saying? Is? Smoke them if you got it, or something like smoke them. I don't know, something like There's that. So That's, many different yeah. phrases yeah. here. <laughs> there was that really funny uh, Instagram handle, influencers in the wild, and they like oh, capture people. That. <laughs> That's great. That That's, that that Instagram is amazing. Yeah, it captures them in the wild. I love it. <laughs> doing yeah. doing what they do best. <laughs> but it is a trip when you do see these. <laughs> Damn people in the wild doing shit. You see them all the time in Venice. You know, in Venice they have on the boardwalk there. You'll see a guy with a camera, and then the guy's a microphone, and they're going. You know, they yeah. yeah and you're yeah. like, okay, either these people have like you know thirty followers, and they're trying to do something s- stupid and ridiculous, or they have millions of followers, yeah. and you you never know. Yeah, it's they, crazy. It could be either. It could be or. either or. It's super and you wild. have no idea yeah. because who's just watching? Who's watching this shit on YouTube? Not me. Yeah, if you're not watching it, it's like obsolete. It's like totally. Matter, yeah. it doesn't even, it doesn't even it. exist. You're the coolest person. Like yeah. you should be watching it. It's like, but no, I'm not. So it's oh. not cool. Rick, what about after Jackass? Right, this stuff's done. What are you gonna do, man? Are we gonna? Are we working on some other projects lined up for 2021, 22? On projects. I'm. I got shows I'm writing. I thought oh. by now I would have been pitching them, but okay. everything got obviously pushed uh, down. Sure. So I'm still working on that. And then, uh, you know, if they have some gigs come up, you know, I'm open for that. 
and uh, just right now, just focus on finishing this film. Let me talk about, let, let's talk about the writing thing really quick. Are you writing it alone or do you have a writing partner or how does that go? This stuff I've been writing alone. You know, I just kind of channeling my thoughts and it, sometimes I days flow faster than others, you know? And so it's, uh, it's sometimes it's more fun. I can just take my computer and go to the farmer's market and just kick it. And I can, you know, get out and it's a nice different environment, but everything's closed there at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Now, as far as sitting. when we're talking about, writing are you talking are you writing s uh, scripts or are you writing kind of um a, a gist of what this is entail like how does this work there's a couple things uh there's one th uh, project i'm working on with a buddy of mine that it's a script so i'm mm -hmm. writing the words what would be said okay but the stuff of, for as far as the show it's a treatment so i'm coming up with the whole broad what is my general if one page when i take it in they have to get with no questions asked. If they're asking you questions, you're fucked. Sometimes yeah. you don't get, I mean, imagine that person coming in with a black mirror treatment. Like people mm. be like, what the fuck is this? I think we're living in a black mirror right now. That's yeah. why, that's exactly why the black mirror season did not come out <laughs> straight up. Because well, did it, you see it, was, that? it was too deep because we were like just in the midst of like this whole pandemic. And now you have this gnarly ass show come out yeah. and it's probably pertaining to what the fuck we're going to. It's true. Even the, through. Yeah. The black mirror writers are probably like, whoa, this it's actually whoa. coming. To, it's yeah. actually coming. Yeah. To life. It's crazy. So they had that new one on Netflix though. The, um, what was it? What? You see that, Rick? Did you see that by chance on Netflix? It was a new movie. Basically, it was the writers of Black Mirror, and they were talking about the year 2020. I don't know. I haven't seen that, but I have friends who worked on the show called The Stand, and it's based off of Stanley, uh, uh, Stanley. King. Stanley King. Stephen, Stephen King. Stephen, Stephen King. Stephen King. Yeah. Stanley. Book The Stand. Yeah. Okay. Not and it, it came out on this new CBS platform. And it's about a pandemic. And I watched the first episode and it fucking freaked me the fuck out. Oh, and it's yeah. just like, and my friend's like, yeah, here, here's the pass. You can you watch all the other episodes. And I'm just like, I think I might need to wait a minute. <laughs> Some of those movies and, and TV shows that I watch, I can't watch them at night. Like before I go to bed, it gives me like, uh, it gives yeah. me weird feelings, yeah, weird thoughts, anxiety, thoughts weird. Like I just yeah. can't go to bed like that. I need yeah. to be watching like how it's made or something. Super Super easy. How it's you made. Know. I, yeah. I love it. Yeah. When, when, this, <laughs> when this pandemic came out, man, I was just wanting to watch the cheesiest comedies. Yeah. Anything that make me laugh because it's yeah. just like, man, I, I don't want to be bombed. Like, this is tough, you know? And I'd have a hard time sleeping for a while and I'd wake up and I'd be like, is this really happening? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, oh, my God. It's like almost like a written, not, it's not real. Yeah, it really is. Three weeks, and here we are, uh, almost a year into yep. it. So, yeah, I know, right? We, I mean, I feel like at the end of January is when it started to really kind of get talked about yeah. like, over here, at least. That's what I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but it was it was it around really, before that, though. It was, but but it wasn't really like really affecting everybody until I'd say like mid February, getting close to March. Yeah, yeah. where and then like fucking mid March, it was just like yeah, it's here. Yeah, I you tell know. you, man. Back in January, I was the sickest I've ever been. See, you probably mm -hmm. had it. Maybe you know, and I I felt like you know I didn't know what was going on because I had it for four weeks. And I had all the symptoms, like my breathing started tripping out, but somehow I just worked myself through it. And so it was just, you know, and they came out, they're saying, oh, the pande pandemic might have been here since December, yeah. you know? And so I'm like, fuck, man, because this is awful. And I didn't ever want to get that sick ever again. We know a lot of people that kind of experienced the same thing you did, just got this in that, in that frame of time right there, like late mm -hmm. December, mm -hmm. you know, January. ish January, sickest they've ever been. And then I, this, I had like the biggest event. Like I had a big event for like, I have this poker, uh, poker tournament every year around my birthday and my birthday is February 1st. So it's like, that was like the biggest, that was the last event you know what I mean? That yeah. I had, there's no, like, we had like 50, probably 50, over 100 people there. Yeah, but it wasn't even talked about back no. then. No. It wasn't even uh, it brought into the news or no. anything back then. No. February? No, it yeah. was it was talked about in China. There was something going on, mm. fucking, but very under the radar. Right. Where it wasn't really affecting or scaring anybody over here. And then, I'd say probably two or three weeks later, you started hearing, like, hey. The way that our world's set up with traveling, I mean, shit could spread in a day. Evil. I was in Japan Crazy. when Crazy. I heard about it, and that's when I the people started wearing masks everywhere. I was like, oh. I mean, people already wear already masks, wear masks yeah. but like, like Americans there were like, oh, I have to get a mask. Right. 
And that was that was scary. And the weird part was was that the beginning of March was Tampa Pro, mm-hmm. and then later that month, when we're all in quarantine, thinking like, "Yo, it was like three weeks ago we were at Tampa Pro." Oh, and all it, intermingling. Yeah, and and it, but, doing, but yeah. it felt like we had been stuck in quarantine, just like we have like as long right. as it is right now, almost. Right. You know, so time yeah, flies, man. Shit, man. It's crazy. It, it's weird because like we're here in Los Angeles. It's you know. Apparently it's pretty bad. So they say in the media, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't watch the media anymore because I just feel like they keep spitting the narrative so hard. They just keep everyone confused. Right. No doubt. But right now you can go to clubs in Florida and Austin, Texas. You know, you can go see band play. You can go see a movie in other states, you know, but we don't hear about that here. But that's the thing. How is it that because Los Angeles is very spread out, L.A. County, very spread out. Right. And how is it that. These other places are doing clubs and doing all this stuff, but they're, they seem to be oh, not okay, but you know, relatively f- whatever. But then here right. in LA, we're, 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 it's going crazy. That's what you're saying. Like the news is so, I, I, I can't take it anymore. Mm-mm. It's, it, yeah. it's too much. I stopped, man. I it's unfollowed too much. everything on any social media, anything that has to do with local media or news gone i don't follow it i don't watch it on tv unless i need to feel like i need to you know catch on to check something. in check in real check, quick. check in, in. Yeah. man but i did that a few times i'm like this is freaking me i hate it man it's just it's designed to scare you you it know is. and it's like it really is. the thing about it now rick is there's 24 hour news stations right so they need to just keep talking about shit for 24 hours a day mm-hmm whether it's an election thing, whether it's this, that, or the other, they're, they're, they're talking, they're de- de- beating a dead horse over and over and over and over. And they're just spitting the same thing at you for 24 hours, no matter when you turn it on. That's it, what gets me. I'm like, okay. It's, it's kind of like an affirmation. You say it enough times. Yes. Emotion, you're, you're, you're making that come in your existence faster, you know? And I, I freak out. I mean, I, f- I feel like every newscaster has a good therapist they have to go to. <laughs> That's true. You hit it. It's Seriously, true. I believe that. You know, for sure. like fuck. I, I, I would want to. I would not want that job. I don't care how well money it pays. Like spreading the, the negative. Oh, fuck that. Feel you on this. News is and nowadays. It's all opinion based anyway. You know, it's very yeah. much opinion based. It's very much interview based. It's there that that person's opinion. You know. Well, it's crazy when it gets delivered. It gets delivered to your phone. Like I have notifications. I'll see like protesters yeah, going yeah, yeah. to the White House and you're like, totally. wait, I didn't sign up for anything like this. No, I have CNN and yeah. it gives me little yeah. notification updates on what's fucking happening. And it you know gets what I mean? this thrown in front of your face yeah. without you even... I can turn re- that off. Yeah. I can turn that off. Yeah. But I definitely yeah, like to be All informed. notifications off. Uh, but a little updates things. is good though. You know, yeah. keep up. Is it still around? Yes. Do I still need to wear a mask? Yes. Okay, thank you. That's all I need to know. Yeah. yeah. How long right. do you think we're going to have to wear a mask for? I kind of like it, except for the part that, you know, I'm so programmed and used to like, say I'm getting out of an elevator, right? And there's a person getting in and, and usually I'll just, usually I smile and I nod and I keep yeah, going. Now I, they can't see me smile. Mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah, all they yeah. can see me, they, they just see my eyes. Yeah, I, I see your eye smile. You can see huh? the eye smile. Can you? I see eye smiles. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, think yeah, that, like, yeah. that's the only thing I can't really communicate with my, you know, my facial expressions. I catch myself doing that though. Like you'll smile, thinking like you're giving somebody a smile. Like they didn't see. They can't see you. Smile. They can't see your smile. No, not at all. You can see in the eyes. You yeah. feel like you know they raise the eyes up and like hey. You yeah. know? Well, I don't go that far of a smile. <laughs> <laughs> I just give a little like. Like, I see you. Hey, how you doing? You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to see what your face really looks like. Hey! Looking. Could you imagine? I know. <laughs> Just fully, like, coming out of yourself. I, I trip so, out. I, like, all work out sometimes down here on the beach. And, like, there'll be people. There's a whole open space. And the people will just walk right, right by, by me. I'm like, yeah. okay, I don't even really care. But what, what the fuck? You know, go over there. I don't want to like, you no, know, no, it, it, it's a mile long beach. Yeah. It's like, and you got to walk right next to me. Like I'm jump roping. You're like literally right there. Yeah. I was uh, visiting one of my buddies over the summer down. He lives in Venice. And we were like, yeah, let's go down to Washington and get some food. And we walked down there and I'm like, hey, let's just get this and get it to go, man. I don't even want to be down here because this is a mess. No one's wearing masks. You know, it's just. Well, all the restaurants are open. When they closed all the restaurants, they all the restaurants down here stayed open. They're open so you can go pick stuff up to go. I don't know. I could have sworn I saw people in there and I, I could have sworn that on Twitter they were like, oh yeah, they're, they, they're letting them slide down here. Is the Olympics going to happen this year? That's what I heard. 
Good question. We're uh, planning with, on it. With all the sports going on right now, football, basketball, I don't see why, why Olympics can't do it. Why not? Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. the interesting part is that they build these big things, like, you know, the for stadiums, tourists, and everything for tourists. for tourists, and there's going to, I don't know if there's no, going to be tourists going no. to these things. Where is it being held? Japan? Yeah, or they, Tokyo. Okay, Tokyo. So that's interesting to think about because that's like a lot of revenue right there. That's, that's like mainly why yeah. the c country's bid on having the Olympics there. Yeah. It's a huge revenue it stream. In. Huge yeah. revenue. A lot of money. So, yeah, we're, like, you know. No crowds. Yeah. No, just no audience. Just the sporting events. Yeah. That's the only reason. The cardboard cutouts. We all can buy, we, we could have our little uh, monitors there in the seats, you know. Yeah. We could all be there virtually. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you got the nine club crew right there. You know, you guys sitting there, there cheering on. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I think they'll do it the same way that they're doing it now with sporting events. Just empty stand, empty seats. Yeah, they'll be have like maybe 15, 20% little fill. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, like football games, there's people in the stands. It depends on what city you're in. <laughs> yeah. Even basketball games, there's a couple. Who were they? Just Lakers were just playing somebody and they had sporadic people in the stands. I don't, know if, I don't know if the Lakers or the Clippers are having that right now. I no, know. no. They were playing somebody else, though. Yes. In yeah. Utah, in other cities that are metropolitan cities that they're playing in, yes, they are. But I know that LA and New York specifically are no, right. no, no attendees. Which I was kind of tripping on because they were people on the floor, floor seats right. with masks on. I'm like, well, it's a little too close still. Maybe you should be up Those, three or four rows you're up. You're right. You're right. I Is agree. it like that there? Do they have seats built in? You know what I'm saying? What? They're so, above. Like nobody. Oh, because they're, attending. I'm sorry. They're, they're not in the bubble this time, right? No. no. Okay. That's no, right. no, no. Okay. Okay. Right. No. Yeah. I don't see why not, Rick. I think, I think it should, I think it'll go down and uh, I think it'll just yeah. take their little precautions. That's what they're aiming. I know they're aiming to do it this year. They're they're definitely they want to do it. What about X Games? That's a good question. I don't know. Or, I know or dudes or whatever. I, I mean, do. I know that like they're planning on starting the Olympic like the qualifiers pretty soon, and I am not sure about Dude Tour. I I couldn't tell you on that one, but I do know there's other ones they're planning on doing. So they didn't finish the Olympic qualifying. Well, I mean, when all this broke out. I mean, it was still going to keep going. It was, it was, there was they still, were still more contests. Like gotcha. that's where I was supposed to go to Singapore. And yeah. I had to like, oh, okay. I remember. it was either, right. that was like when everything was getting shut down, I was like, I either fly to Singapore and stay there or yeah, or stay there. And then whatever, I was in a really weird predicament, but Singapore I heard is on point. Yeah. So, I mean, what, what better place to do it than Singapore? But right? we didn't know. I mean, back then, yeah, everything yeah, was yeah. crazy, yeah, dude. Right, you didn't right, right. know what just was going on. Just get on a plane yeah. is insane, for sure. I think yeah. New Zealand's on point, too. Yeah. 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 New Zealand. Hawaii. Yeah. Like, what's... Well, they probably don't want that trash coming to their fucking island, you know? Like, no way. No, well, dude, people are going. The, you just have to quarantine when you go there. And they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're strict that's, about how, it. How strict I heard, can you be? They're strict. But I think now, now, They arrested some uh, couple. For flying in with COVID, oh, I think you have to test in there with COVID. But okay. even then, you have to stay there for you have to stay quarantined quarantine for wherever you're at twelve days. You don't something. have to quarantine now in you, Hawaii. Yeah, you have to test get tested three days before you go. But three days before, Rick, you got a test of the day of too. No, seventy two hours. Where have you been in those three days? I don't know. I think you might. I mean, I don't know if this is true. I mean, I don't off the top of my head. I I did hear that recently that the three there's three days. And then maybe when you get tested when you get there, because that might make it, sense. I didn't think when you go to Hawaii, the, the type of test you have to do is the, the brain tickler one where the they really. Oh, geez. Way up there. I got that one. I didn't think it was that bad. Did they really stick it far in there? No. I, I mean, I it was I pretty. I mean, it was up there, bro. If I did mine. Like I went to your place. I went to your place. Yeah. I was, didn't do that. They didn't do that to you? <laughs> no. What'd they do? They, they just the swabbed their little thinking. inside yeah, of the rim? Exactly. They, 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 so they swabbed the rim? They swabbed the rim of it on both sides and like I could barely handle that. No, no. They they put it up there on mine. Wow. They were like, they were super extra. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. They didn't do that shit. What do they do at Jackass? It's uh, the swab every morning and then uh, on the end of the week, swab and the mouth test. Okay. Mouth test. Oh, they yeah, swab so you your mouth. Swab your mouth, and then I, I have to get swabbed like the Friday before we go into that week next week. Mm. Hmm. So, yeah, they're very uh, safe. I'm looking forward to it, man. Jackass four, I, bro. It's gonna be good. Ooh. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. After we did your episode and we did Steve O's episode, especially after Steve O's episode here at the Nine Club, we so many comments were like, "Oh." 
these guys are too old to do that stuff. Like blah, blah, blah. Even if they get new cast member, won't be the same. And like, there was a lot of naysayers, uh, which, you know, comments, of course, going to be naysayers, but you know, it's sure. like, oh, it's like, dude, these guys, they know how to fuck themselves up for a, been a doing living. This. Like been doing this. they're going to come through with some shit. Oh yeah. I mean, everyone's going to, there's always going to be haters, you know? Do you see a new crew of jackass people coming through at all? Like out there? Well, I'm, you know, a new crew coming along eventually. Well, do you see people doing stuff out there that you're stoked on? Like that, or it's kind of like jackass. The, uh, the Dudesons. I, the Nelk Boys. The, don't they, they, they do stuff kind of like. I think we're different because I think a lot of these other people are take it so like harsh and it's not as funny. I mm, feel, you know, right. it's just, there's a chemistry behind what we do. And I think people can pick up on that. And that's what makes Jackass so special over the years. Yeah, that's true. You guys got a long story and we've been, people have been watching you guys do this for a long time. I mean, we all came from big brother magazines, you know, from the pages of big brother. Right. Mm -hmm. Like the people that know have followed along through the whole, through the years. Yeah. Skateboarder dudes that do yeah. funny stuff, you know, and yeah, it's a, uh, I've been catching the, some of the old videos that they've been putting out on YouTube recently the mtv channel and, and it's just like god that was so fun you know and like just simple dumb goofy stuff oh are they re-uploading old jackass old stuff. stuff on the oh, oh okay yeah sick it's a they call it mtv vault oh and they've been putting out some videos and it's it's been fun you know just to see it again and right i don't think you'll ever see a lot of stuff we shot in season one but it's Crazy. kind of like it aired once and kind of went away because we broke all the production rules oh wow <laughs> yeah but nowadays couldn't they put that stuff out without I there's some so. there's some gnarlier shit out on the internet now yeah oh absolutely but it's like you know it's just it is what it is you know you won't see the <laughs> Still i don't think you ever see the brad pitt abduction on youtube so Dude, i just like, heard that someone bring amazing. that up the other day i was like mark mark norman on he was on joe rogan he brought that up and he's just like, uh, that was pretty gnarly that you got Brad Pitt out on that? Yeah. To get fake kidnapped in front of Pink's hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> like where there's always a line. Yeah, mad people. Mad people. Yeah. Always. <laughs> and he just yeah. wanted to do it. He was like a fan. He's a fan. And I think at that time, the, the popularity of the TV show, everyone thought it was fun. You know, Gene Simmons, I remember mm -hmm. Shaquille so O'Neal loved it. <laughs> we so man actually people. picked up Shaq, you know? Yeah. On a and so uh, he loves Jackass. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Everyone wanted to be a part of it at the time. And it was kind of exciting to see this, you know, excitement. And it just was so weird, too, to hear that people had viewing parties. Hmm. You know, like it, the show would be on and a house in Hawaii would have a bunch of friends together to watch it. And I never knew that. And to hear those stories down the road was just like, wow, that's kind of neat, you know? Like, totally. Dude, when I think of that, I just think of the intro song. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. The wow. Minute yeah. Man. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you, when you hear that, you're like, oh, it's about to go down right now. Fair, yeah. Fair, yeah. Fair. Yeah. San Pedro's finest, the Minute Man. You must be getting some good royalties. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Dude, Seriously. they made bank. Wow, what a lucky break. I mean, just, just to do a jingle or some type of intro song for a movie or, mm -hmm. or a TV show. I know, right? Keep it going consistently. Wow. I like all the jingles that, you know, you guys get every week. Uh, people contributing in for uh, <laughs> yeah. LD's pick of the week. Yes. Some good ones. I'm shocked really is. sometimes how people are talented out there. They really are. It's yeah, crazy. it's great. I love your fans that participate and do, you know, fun stuff, you know, for the show. And yeah. Got to keep it like, flowing, man. You got to, you got to have like, a montage of every one of those songs. So like this big string out. Uh, we have all of them saved. Every single one of them that's our that's been on the show. So we we could do something. Maybe a Spotify playlist or some <laughs> like a yearly something. a yearly I, award. A, a, an guys. award. Yeah. There you go. There you sure go. But, but the engagement, Rick, has been so, I mean, like you see it in, in the chat, you know, like we, we get blown away on our end of just the, the engagement yeah. of our community and stuff. It, it's just, I've never seen anything like it, you know, in skateboarding as in like, we go, we've been pro skaters for almost our whole lives. Yeah. Long time. The, the the type of interaction you get from a, being a pro skater, but be, being on a, a show about skateboarding is completely different interaction. Yeah. Completely different. Yeah. I'm always shocked when I it's see crazy. other skaters, like pros that I know, like reference stuff that we talk about in the show. 
That's, like that's that's the crazy part. You it, like you like Rick. I mean, no, I mean Rick. I trip out. I'm seriously so stoked that you watch the show interact, but I trip out that like. So many rad people watch the show. <laughs> like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you get to, you just, like, what, Rick? You watch the show? Yeah. God damn. Okay. Like, you, no, it's, it's super, it's super humbling. Like, to yeah. Be honest, yeah. Like, it's, it's really gratifying to get that love from your peers, dude, at the end of the day. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, it, once it's, you, once it's you, my you, way, you know, staying up to date what's going on, you know? It. And like, I, you guys talk about something, I'll go, oh, I'm going to go watch that video now. I've done that. Perfect. Sick. Let's uh, let me ask you this. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just saying, and it's kind of cool because you've, you've, you're a product of this industry. You've been in this shit, so it's kind of cool that you're like, oh shit, these guys are talking about this. Let me check. Let me go check that out. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I've done it a bunch of times. Super cool. Let me ask you this, Rick. Right, you're you're a, you're a filmmaker yourself. You like to do stuff. You're working on Jackass, doing all this stuff, Big Brother. Is there anything that we're maybe that we're missing or that you would maybe like to see on the nine club experience or that. that's a good question. What, what do you, what do you, what, what are your thoughts on this? You know, we get a lot of people saying you should do this. You guys should do that. You should do that. We, we don't listen to any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think so. But you're at, uh, for the nine club experience, you're like what? 129 episodes. Yeah. Yep. Well, spot around on. that. Yep. Is that spot on? Well, yep. why would right he on. come out? Be 130. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, okay. right. This, 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 that week, yeah, this that next was... week will be 130. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I think in time it will take off bigger. I would like to see the numbers get bigger, you know, and I, and I feel like right. it, it baffles me that more people are not tuning Oops. in when it hits live. And yeah. I don't know if it's because you, I see that you allow your fans to watch you guys record it live. Is that what you're doing now? So we have our members, channel members. Yeah. We have silver, gold, and platinum on YouTube, on YouTube. Yeah. Correct. The gold and platinum members can watch us film live Sunday nights. So we don't get a lot of those viewers, right? right. We don't get like thousands of people watching us live. It's just a small number, but it's something to, for us to give back to the people, you know, uh, who subscribe and, and, and donate to the channel. Is your numbers probably bigger on the audio? Like, so say people can listen to it in their cars or something. I feel like that's easier for podcasts, you know? Right. So that's, that's another aspect of it is you see the numbers on YouTube, but then we do have the podcast numbers as well, you know, so which are pretty good, you know? But I don't know. I, it's, it's, a, it's baffling, Rick. I, in YouTube it's a funny place, man. I don't know because cover pages come into titles, come into it, the content, the engagement that you get on it, the likes, the shares, the comments, like everything equals how YouTube is distributing this content. You know what I mean? So I don't know if it's something that we could fix with our cover pages, you know, like how do we yeah. make those more engaging and, and want pe maybe people to click on them? Is it the titling? Is it the, con you know, the content? Like there's so many things that run through our head on a daily basis, you know, of like how, how do we get people oh. clicking and sharing and commenting? Mm -hmm. Is this show geared for children or no? No. Okay. So that's good. That's because I've heard like other, I watched other stuff on YouTube and they, they'll are automatically say like, Hey, we don't cuss because of the algorithm will suppress us, you know? And, Yep. So maybe that's a problem. We've you know, talked to Chris, we, Chris we've, has brought that to our attention. We've talked about that. For sure. There's Rick, a certain and, member of, I'm not going to say any names, that likes to cuss every week. <laughs> Justin Eldridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, he needs to curb that, you know, and start and just... Rick, this is, listen, I, I'm i not trying, and we're, we're you know, listen, <laughs> yeah. we're not, these guys love it. Yeah. Bro. They love it because we do have these conversations, right? And yeah. Rick, I love cussing. Right. I think throwing a good, I think throwing a good adjective in there to describe something is good. I think, you know, it can add some humor to the situation. Yeah. Cussing. It's natural. Adds almost. to it. Yeah. Right. It adds to conversation. I don't want to tell anybody not to cuss. Right. Because that's not who we are over here. We want everybody to be upset. But like you're saying, like if we can curb that, that yeah. may, you know, the YouTube algorithm may just be like, wow, there's, 82 fucks in this episode. <laughs> We're not going to distribute this yeah. to X amount of people because these X amount of people probably don't want cussing. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. we, we're being controlled 
somewhat by this algorithm that nobody knows what the algorithm is. You see, it's weird. Yeah, I, I think it's also a numbers game, and I, I think this show is still new, and I think in time it'll get it'll grow bigger. You know, and I, I don't think Joe Rogan's podcast was as huge. I, I was, as it was just gonna say that I was just gonna, and I hate using Joe. Joe Rogan's the biggest podcast out, but they curse on that i mean i was just i don't listen a to lot. joe rogan that often but mm. when i did listen to just recently i was like damn okay they yeah he, he says he what he says thing. yeah but it's it's very tasteful and it's not to right. the point where he's abusing the fucking the fucking words <laughs> <laughs> eldridge listen and we it's funny we've talked about it on the show eldridge he cusses the way that we say like or um he yeah. says shit or fuck. It's like a nervous tick for him almost yeah. in a weird fucking way. Fucking this fucking LaCroix shit. This fucking so, this two like, dudes yeah. so fucking <laughs> shit. To, like he's using it to think of what he's going to say. Right. Yes. Where we use it in a way that could like add into a, you know, a funny thing, you know, like God, fucking, you know what I mean? Like right. we emphasize. Yeah. yeah. Emphasize. That's Absolutely. It. It's funny when he talks about things, that's the funny part. He might be talking about something so gent like something nice and he'll throw the, this throw shit oh, yeah. or fuck. Oh yeah. And it's not, it's not even like he's meaning to do it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it's like a, that's how he talks. He's like, he's, he's like my fucking wife, man. And she's just like, <laughs> bro, like, whoa, bro. Like, you're my fucking kid. Like, but he's saying it so endear endearing. Yeah, you know, it's like you're like, what the dude, best. chill, bro. Be. But that's the thing is like Rick, like we don't want to step I, I want everybody to express themselves freely here, yeah. you know? But at the same time, like I wonder if stuff like that does hold us back, you know? And not for nothing, Joe Rogan they cuss on their show too, but No, it's not as once much. you have those 10 million subscribers. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you can do it whatever. It doesn't matter. It works for you. Yeah, it works. For sure. You're the most talked about pod. Like, it doesn't. We're still in a position where there's so many people out there who never even heard of the nightclub. Yeah. They don't even know what the hell that is. You know? Maybe maybe, maybe you put it, you know, if you, I mean, it's probably really expensive, but put it at Thrasher Magazine. Yeah, I, I don't know if that would do anything, though. You know what I mean? Like I feel I, like our skate community knows. Like our core community knows, and it's a, definitely word of mouth, bro. This is like one of those shows. Yeah. If you're yeah. if you have if you're a, true. a friend, you have a friend. Like you're gonna tell him. Like, you ever watch that fucking show, Nine Club? Like, and you yeah. like uh, collab with another podcast or somehow like to? There's not a lot of other podcasts like the Bunt and like literally. Mm -hmm. That one's awesome, but I don't know any other. There's not a lot of skate podcasts out there, you know? No. We're just trying to do everything that we are, you know, we, we don't know what we're doing, <laughs> essentially. We're, we're just trying to go with it, and we're trying to, you know, copy what other, all the other big podcasts do and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know? like. Well, well, listen, when we started Jackass, we didn't know what we were doing either. So right. in the time, it click. And totally. back to... We gotta get this photo shoot going soon. Yeah. 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 I Definitely see that trigger did. fingers ready, bro. Yes. Just do you have any, you don't have batteries in that thing. I'd love to hear the shutter. No, the batteries are okay. dead. Okay. Make That's sure you don't leave them in there though. They'll get fucking yeah, luckily they'll, they'll it leak didn't. out. Okay. That's a Rick yeah. Cossack collab right there. What dude, let's do, some, let's do some cool shit with Rick, dude. Yeah, dude. Rick. Let's make a boards, shirt. Let's do a photo shoot right now, bro. <laughs> no okay yeah lens cap is on lens cap on. <laughs> no battery no lens cap, no lens cap. <laughs> first thing about photography man take the lens cap off sorry guys that shot was kind of dark yeah. no it's uh no i don't know i was just asking you if you had any if you would like to see some different things on the experience or something that you were like oh man it'd be cool if these good dudes did that this or if you just like to show the way i think i mentioned and, it before i just wish there's there's times where you can go like full frame with the trick instead of no, looking at a little box tough. you said it, it's like there's restrictions copyright yeah, yeah. but we, even though it's like a few seconds you know yeah. it is like we, we've gotten pinched for it before so we used to do we used there. to do full screen and then after a couple episodes we got pinched a few times and so we had to take it picture in picture damn so we, we do get a lot of comments on that amoeba records does this really cool thing called uh what's in the bag and so they have a famous artist come in they shop in the store and they pull all this stuff and they talk about things you know and they're cut into music how are they getting away with that Mm. Now maybe Amoeba, <coughs> excuse me. Maybe Amoeba, since they are a music company, has ins and rights to stuff. Man, no way. Uh, -uh. 
No. That's, um, that's so much money. Let me ask you a question. It might this is to, really to, like promote their store. That's about it. This is their They're YouTube. They're not trying to make money off it. Yeah, but because you're promoting skateboard. Yeah, because like sure. if we if we were playing music on our nine club show, right? Which we totally yeah. could, Rick. It's not that we can. We can. We just couldn't monetize that video. Right. So now the people who were in that song, they're, they're monetizing our video. Mm -hmm. They're making money off of us playing their song, which we could only play for maybe, even if we played the song for, you know, a minute out of a two hour show, they're monetizing the whole show. But you're like just showing a clip and there's no audio and it's you guys talking over. So it's like, you're, you're essentially the news. The juice isn't worth the squeeze. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. As in to like at the every moment. video, fight, yeah. every video that comes out, we'd have to go to a free magazine. We'd have to go to Thrasher. We'd have to go to whoever's putting these videos out, Baker, Death Wish. We'd have to go to every company, get their permission to do it. We upload the video. Then on our end, it gets flagged. And then on their end, they have to approve it. Like it's a whole web of like, hey, you guys, hey, free, can you approve the video, man? So we can monetize, we used your clip, like- It's a full-time mm, job for it, somebody. It's a full-time yeah. gig, you know, for you you know, get- for for 30 seconds of, of a clip. Well, and maybe gotta- after the uh, 300th episode of this, you know, you'll have a, uh, a staff, you know? And- That's what I was saying, there, there might be a point where it makes sense, but it might not ever make sense. I mean, I'm glad we're talking about it now because we don't really talk about it. And it's, these are a lot of questions that people ask us on the show. Why why don't you go full screen? Why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? It's like, man, we, we, we'd love to do so many things, but it's just not possible. Mm-hmm. It's just not, you know, I think you guys are doing a great job for what you have Thank right you, now. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. You know, Definitely. it's fun. The set, that looks awesome. You can't tell it's Roger's house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's crazy. I mean, we it's are like, we're really like, it looks legit. Room. It really we is. Appreciate it looks legit. We appreciate that. It's, um, it's a labor of love, Rick. And we loved having people like you on the show. Yeah, we could wrap dude. out and talk and just hang out. So OG, I got a OG industry heads, man. Yeah. OG industry heads. So am I coming in after Tony Hawk? Yeah. Yes, How do you sir. Feel, yeah. How do you feel about that? Now, this is, <laughs> here's, this is another thing, Rick. Okay. Now, this is a YouTube algorithm. Okay. Yeah. We have a big episode, say Tony Hawk drives in 100,000 views or whatever he gets, right? I don't know what Tony Hawk's getting, you know? But if he's getting more views than anybody else, now the algorithm is going to be like, oh, people are watching this channel. We need to put this next video in front of more people. Sprinkle some more. So now you're getting Tony Hawk's sloppy seconds. (laughs) (laughs) Trickle down. Wow. (laughs) No, but you know what I mean? That, that's just how the YouTube algorithm works, right? If you keep having like, you know, 10,000 view episodes, like YouTube's gonna be like, okay, people are interested in this, but not as, not as much, not as much as we we would think. So we're not going to put it in front of a lot of people. Right. But you get a good episode like Tony Hawk. Now YouTube's like, oh, we're going to put more of this, these guys' content in front of people. I I think what also might help, and I know this sounds kind of cheesy, but maybe, you know, throughout the show be like hey you guys just want a reminder to please hit the like button it helps get the word out more that that people want you know it's just like yeah we we try i i try to throw that in there sometimes you do you i do, do it in I, a very I, nice I, long way I try if you to. want me and jerron to do it we'll I step right to. in yeah you know? i mean i don't i don't have any cues to do it but I, <laughs> yeah. if we need to do it you just give me a little tap <laughs> little tap, tap, yeah. tap give me a little tap like <laughs> subscribe hey guys if you're right there give us a like you know what i mean <laughs> Maybe it's like you guys don't have to say it. Maybe just like a little lower thirds comes up. There you go. Please hit the like button. You know. There you go. Where is that like button? Right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's subscribe over to yeah. It's on your it's on left. Right? No, on, on your left. left. Hey, yeah. Hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> the, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of. Like oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. The subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. All right. I, I looked at your subscriptions. It looks like it's definitely, you know, increasing a lot. So, which is good, you know. And hey, listen for a, for a skateboarding podcast that just has a bunch of skaters sitting around talking. I think we're doing a phenomenal job, you know. And that's just not me patting myself under Roger on the back, but um, mm-hmm. and everybody yeah. involved. Mm-hmm. But I think for skateboarding, like it's it's damn good, you know. Hell yeah. Like there's some videos awesome. out there that come out, Rick, that don't even get t- ten thousand, fifteen thousand views mm-hmm. that people work. A year on. on. Yeah. yeah, true. Yeah, but that's not fair. You know what would help his views? If you put like Jackass 4 Secrets Revealed. 
right? Oh, trust me, we're gonna do that for the highlights. The caption, (laughs) sick ass caption. Well, yeah, yeah. But we—that's the—that's the the stuff too. We try to do with the highlights is we try to, but we're not clickbaiting, obviously. But we try to, you know. No, it lives up to it. It lives up to it. Yeah, for sure. Right, dude. When we uh, Steve O's highlights went off. Holy balls that was nuts you just, but it's but you, like, but you get a dude like that on where you're like yeah. wait a minute you you title the video like steve-o got paid how much to take fda non-approved drugs yeah. <laughs> like in a, in a, <laughs> it's gonna go in a survey it's like it's gonna go it's gonna go yeah yeah i don't know rick it's i, I just thought i'd ask you because you're a viewer you're a fan you know you're no. a, a contributor to the show yeah, i was man. just wondering if you had any ideas or or maybe uh, i just think it's i think it's just a the numbers game, we just got to keep yeah. pushing forward and that's it, you know, no click. And at the craft services table, it'd be nice if you did hit up Johnny Knoxville to throw out a tweet about us. Yeah, something like that. Hey, Knox, you know, what's up? <laughs> and, and Steve-O, yeah. And Steve-O yeah. and Wee Man and Pontius, Pontius. All, the, all the homies. And but I think as when the movie comes out eventually, this will kind of get in the whole oh. slew of things. You know, probably more people will pick up on it. And there you go. And if you could, yeah, if you give us a shout out in the movie, that would be great, dude. Uh, <laughs> even a lower, even a lower third. Yeah, yeah, even yeah, a lower third. Lower third. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just, it, could be a, it could be a rocket coming out of Steve-O's ass. Like, watch The Nine Club. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, I'm thinking so, jackass. He's we, thinking, he's thinking that along those lines. We could get us some t-shirts or something, you know, but they're probably blurred yeah. out or something. I don't we, know. Can we have shirts to all the crew members? Stickers? Yeah, well, you, you, know, stickers? Get, you know, we can get him some, some shirts. I think some of the guys. I bet Steve-O would wear one. I love Steve-O, bro. Yeah, he's a he's a great dude. The he's last, killing it with his podcast too. He's the last guest we had in here. That's crazy to think about. Uh, wow. they, all of these guys got to come on when this comes out. The media release, all that shit. I they got to come on here to kind of promote this shit. That you think Johnny amazing. Knoxville will ever come? You, you think he'll want to come on our show one time? I know you Maybe can't speak for him, he's, but he's probably the hardest one. Yeah, you know, but I definitely you can get. Yes, you can get Wee Man, you get Dave England. We can definitely want Wee Man. Yeah. For sure. Pontius, he was one of my favorite jackass dudes. Yeah. The dude. way that he laughed, the way that he just conducted himself, and the way that he yeah. interacted with the different people. No, for sure. The he's, funniest dude yeah. to me. Yeah, the funniest guy. So funny. Yeah, he's the funny one in the bad out of the batch. He's the funniest one of the funniest guys. Party boy or whatever it is. And a great skater too. Mm-hmm. Really? See? No, he can yeah. skate for sure. What tight? Same with Dave England too. He's oh. a good skater, and uh, so yeah, there's you can definitely get some of these guys involved. Dave England, yeah. My um, sister and her kids would see him at the skate park up where they lived. Where up in Ohio? Ohio. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's cool. See, Rick knows. I wasn't gonna blow up my sister's spot, but yeah. See, Rick Ohio. knows. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No, but they would see him at the skate park, you know? They'd be like, I said, with the guy from Jackass is over here at the park. I'm like, yeah, he skates. Yeah, he, he skates. surfs, skates. Yeah, he's very active. Well, I can't wait to see Jackass 4, yeah. man. And I can't wait to see the other stuff. Hopefully, you know, you get all that script stuff going and uh, submit that and everything. Because I'm open to, you know, a role if you have one. Hey. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, if there's, a, if there's a spot for you, I'll make sure you're there. That's a no. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate that. <laughs> if it's a live audience, you need some laughs, laugh tracks, hit me up. I'll we're multi-talented yeah, over here. Got, really, you know, Kelly's got that. Fish we're off. multi-talented. So to follow back up, uh, where we're going to do our photo shoot at, yeah. we can do this. Well, what, do you, what kind of vibe are you going for, Rick? Do you want like an outside vibe or do you want like an inset vibe? Or what do, what do you... What do you... I, I, I'm, I'm thinking down at the beach, guys. Yeah, that's a Wednesday. Oh, you're talking about like skating too? You want to get some skate clips? <laughs> Dude, I'm talking about skate photos, dude. Oh, I we thought you were talking about more. lifestyle. Lifestyle. You're talking, you're talking about portraits. Yeah, I shit. thought you were going to bring the real Hasselblad, <laughs> too. <laughs> yes. Maybe we could do something where we can, uh, it's a giveaway to a charity and we can do it oh, through let's the whole. That. That'd be sick. Yeah. Wow, that, that, that would be awesome. That. That's dope. Come down. Let's skate. Let's do this. I'm, I'm down. We'll do it soon. How do we, now what are we going to do? We're going to make portraits of them? What are, what's your plan? Do we have a plan? I don't know. Like a really fun skate shot or, you know, and. Hmm. Do we want to um, make like a little? little you make teas out of these. I would a, love like to a get, tea or a book or something. I don't think I've ever gotten. A, we ever. I don't know if we ever scene? shot. I saw this. I tried shooting with you once, but I destroyed my ankle. Yeah, yeah like a zine remember, or we, something. We talked about that last time. And, yeah, but it'd be rad to get a photo, dude. Nine club zine. Something mugs. What about mug? Yeah, we could do mm. photo mugs. Mm. That would be photo tight. mugs by Rick Kosick. 
with all yeah, of us. Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be dope. That's one fun. side, one side's a mug shot of our face on the mug, oh. and the other side is skate shot. Hustle Look at that. with the thing. Wee. Mug shot. The <laughs> yeah. mug. <laughs> Mug shot. Mug shots. I love that. Yeah. Good shit, Kelly. Yeah. Let's do it, bro. That that'd be fun. Okay. Hey, for 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 one thing, it'd just be fun hanging out with you. I agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. It'd be a good excuse to hang out at the beach again. And bring that fucking camera that you just busted out there earlier. Yeah. That, bring that thing out. Yes. I, I so want to hear that thing go. Yeah. <laughs> the beast. Yeah. This thing's so heavy. Gosh. I would love to. Yeah, Chris, get a sequence with that bad boy, dude. Straight up. You got bricks of film? No. <laughs> No. I'm trying to get that as fast as possible, Chris. How much does a brick cost nowadays? I don't even know, man. Like it's what, like twelve bucks a roll? Holy get him. <laughs> Damn get him. We'll just do portraits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> twelve bucks a roll? Holy shit. That's still, why we only do stills. Like, still photos? Just, we yeah. can get a good slappy front crook photo. Just there you go. Tor in there, yeah, just, you know, just in, there. in the gutter. Yeah, in there. All these get down and dirty, and we'll get the shot. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, man, that'd be fun. I would, I would love, love to, to do, do that, that, Rick. Seriously. I haven't, I haven't yeah. shot with Rick since we've gone out on that interview, so let's go. Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be really. We'll, we'll make it happen. I want to do this. Let's not All be. Right. Let's the, the, no trade show talk. We're gonna do it. We're gonna be about <laughs> it. Yeah, we're gonna be about <laughs> it. Yeah. I always should because he's probably got to be chill about going out in places, right? Do you, do you? How does that work, Rick? I'm I'm pretty limited to who I kind of go around, just because I want to be safe for yeah, my yeah, health, of and I don't want to miss out on work because I came down with you know. Yeah, exactly. Understand. So, are we doing this after the movie? We'll do it in the next few months. Let's say you know when okay, you know things mellow out for one. Yeah. It's not, I don't know. They say it's one in five people right now in Los Angeles have COVID. I don't believe in that shit. I don't know if I believe that. Mm -mm. I don't know what to believe anymore. Yeah, that's yeah, a problem. Actually, that's the problem. Okay. You see, it's you so know, weird. it's just it's such a weird disease. You know, it's like, uh, you know, it's just sad to hear like what's happened with Mark Waters too. You know, and Hell he's yeah. fighting for his life. And that's the thing is like people that that listen to this or whatever. We're not downplaying anything. No, not like at all. this is not us sitting here being like, oh, well, I don't believe that fucking thing. Because people take shit out of context with the show all the time. Yeah. Like we get we get it all the time. You guys are. One thing they'll they'll pull out of an episode, be like, you know, and harp on it, you know. I just think we get a lot of misinformation. That's all. That's, I mean, it, that's what it boils down to, you know, misinformation. I agree. I agree. Know? And then the more and more you get misinformation, you question it, right? And that's that's basically where I'm at. I'm not saying that. Look, I know people are getting sick. This is very valid. But then I'm also hearing that you know the the hospitals aren't as filled as as they are. You know, I have. I heard they were, dude. Like yeah. my friend works at a hospital. He's like, dude, it's nuts. Hmm. I was like, okay. Depends yeah. which hospital. Yeah, I guess yeah. You know, true. because like I go, I drive down by the marina one over here mm -hmm. and look in, and I don't, I don't really see anything from the outside. You know, they have like empty tents set up outside, but you know, it, it depends where you are, man. Yeah. I don't Definitely. know. It, it's just the whole thing's weird. Right. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know. What is it going to take to make things better? Let's all work together and make it happen. Yeah. Wear a mask when you're around a lot of people. If you're not wearing a mask, make sure you're not around anyone, you know? Simple well, as now that. Now you got anti-maskers trying to barge their way through, you know, Irwin, er, er like, supermarket. Statements for what? For what? Mm-hmm. That happened. For what? That happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been happening a lot in in L.A. In the last week. Yeah, they, they started so. Air One, went down the Target, and right here at Trader Joe's, they made the round. Why? Like hundred or more exactly. people. Exactly. Why? 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 Dude. So stupid. Gosh. I don't understand these. Like they want these people want this just to keep we. we this is how we're, we want to live for the rest of our lives. I know. Yeah, I don't understand what these people. They're trying to do what the point they're trying to get across. Yeah, and like, like what's the problem they're trying to solve here? Like if the point, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, bro, but I do think that if we all abide by the rules that we're given, you know, the masks, the mandates, whatever it may be, like we could have a leg yeah. up on this thing. You know, we've had a year, mm -hmm. we've had a fucking year, dude. And you know, you like, got, you like got anti maskers, said, you got people in Target, you got people. Come yeah, on. Yeah, when I was down in Venice over the summer and I saw everyone was behaving, I was like, this is. Crazy. That's why, Rick. Uh, listen, man. All right, we should we should wrap, we should wrap this up. <laughs> no, but people are basing 
their whole philosophy on this thing but, uh, with memes. Oh. Memes are being prone, thrown up and people are basing their ideologic, ideologically, whatever the fucking thing they're called. Ideologically, yeah. On memes. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're, yeah they're educating themselves on Instagram memes and it's kind of sad. Mind blown. Anyway, Rick, it's been great. <laughs> <having> you, <man. laughs> yeah, it's been fabulous, Yay! man. We are we so. We got to end on a positive note, man. Um, dude, again, thank you, Rick, bro, for coming on the show. It's always I fun can. catching up with you. I would love if you, you know, when a jackass is done, we go have our little photo shoot, we do our little skate thing, we come out with whatever we're going to come out with, come back on the show. Tell us all. Tell us all about the Jackass movie. Tell us all about what went down. What yes. didn't make it in the show, and, and everything you can can talk about. Yeah, when you can talk about it. Right. right. You know when the time's right, we'll make it happen. You know, it'd be awesome if the movie came out and like Steve-O and Rick came here and sat down wow. and they, talked about it. That would Why be don't amazing. we do that? Or one of the other guys. We'll give some love to the other guys to come in. Dude, and totally. Share. Yeah. Totally. Man, whoever that hasn't be been so on. So awesome. Hopefully, by that time, we will be in a better place. I think we will. I I'm very so. optimistic. I hope so. There's only so long that this can last. I'm just, 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 just be honest. Yeah. So if, if it's one in five people, that means we're close to herd immunity, right? That's what sounds like to me. Based on your, these one in five. <laughs> and listen, <laughs> just, yeah. Don't look at the comments for this episode. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> don't look at the comments. They're going to be nuts. Yeah, don't yeah, look at the are. comments. Uh, we went in a little bit. No, it's just one thing. You know, you can't. No. This is the reality. We're where never, we're at. You're never right, Rick. That's what I've learned in this industry. You're never yeah. right. Okay. Somebody's gonna find something that you said nitpick. offensive, or they're gonna nitpick on it. They're gonna their their view is different. They're well, gonna they're gonna express it. I tell you what, if I said something that's offensive and then I hurt someone's feelings, I apologize. <laughs> we all apologize. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta be able to express yourself though, real shit. Like and not have an, a filter. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you can cross the line by what you say. Yeah. But at the same time, man, you got to speak your fucking truth, man. Straight this is up. a podcast. Yeah. We're just talking. Yeah. We're just talking. It's just words. You know, don't take it so little. I don't think we say anything that's offensive. It's just things mm-hmm. are on our minds. I, like- I, yeah, offensive, no. No. But, you know, people have, when you start talking about, you know, pandemics and this and that and, and what, what you, you should be what doing. you think and this yeah. it, it starts turning into a whole weird fucking comment section well it's like we're Ugh. living through this stuff dude You're i know right? like that's like, it's not like we're just far away and thinking about what's going on like we're in the middle of this so yeah. we have thoughts exactly so yeah. we have I'm the right saying, to speak go on it. Ch- you go look at the comment section after the video oh i yeah i i've it's insane the whole thing with uh andy anderson's helmet oh. i i was I'm like, get out of here. Like, I mean, yeah. they, they, that's what I'm saying. They're, they're taking like little snippets of what they want to hear. Yeah, like, yeah, listen yeah. to the whole thing, and you get a better understanding of what people are trying to say. Exactly. We love Andy. And yeah, we love Andy. We love his helmet that yeah. he wears. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, Why does he wear a helmet? Do you know? Did he get hurt at one point? Actually, I, we, I never even asked him. We that. don't I didn't know. know that, but apparently he did. Yeah. And that's why he's wearing it. Because that's why I that's was cool. say, if that was the case, I wouldn't even have fucking talked about it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. Um, somebody said to go check out his eye dabble thing or whatever. Oh yeah. I went and checked it out. I didn't see anything about him getting injured and being having to wear a helmet, you know? And for everyone asking, get Andy Anderson on the show. We talked to him. He's down. He's down. When the time comes, we right. will get him in When the here. Nine Club show is back with guests in the studio. First question. What's up with the helmet, What's dude? up with the helmet? I'll wear a helmet on the show. <laughs> if he wears, if he wears his helmet, I'm going to wear a helmet, too. I'll wear a helmet. Okay. I wish I I'll wear a helmet. We're all wearing helmets. I can't wait to talk about the helmet. <laughs> uh, Whatever it takes, man, to get that, those tricks. Wow. Straight up. Roger had a good point, too. It's like, was it Roger that said that? What was it? It's like, imagine if like uh, somebody like Nija, who's gnarly as hell right now, puts on pads and does all, you know, wears a helmet and everything. Like what, how gnarlier he could get from how, what he is now. I think he's just, I don't know if he get any gnar yeah, yeah, I, I don't think he Bro. trips. I don't think he really trips on the aftermath. Uh-uh. Like, you know he's what I mean? So in it. He's, he's so, so in, in it. it. Maybe Nigel's not a good example. Yeah. But I, somebody, I just, go ahead, Raj. I was just thinking how, um, you know, wearing pads on like vert skating and where vert skating has become 
psycho with a mega ramp skating mm-hmm. and it's all dude it's like being all padded up right just making yourself feel that much more protected mm-hmm. but i mean it's still restricting in the streets is definitely restricting and different yeah it is different. versus being on a ramp you dude, know what i mean i think there's some there though slide. you got a knee slide dude you gotta have pads yeah. on for that right for sure you ain't bare dude bare yeah. knee slide i think there's something there ramp. i think there's something there i think if you're wearing pads out in the streets and you're gonna do this fucking gnarly rail like you're gonna have a little more confidence because you you got you got protection. I mean, maybe I, I don't know if I would think that way. I think I would be like feeling way, way more res- restricted. And then w- now when I'm about to try this shit, I'm thinking about having all this shit on that it's it's I'm not focused. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. That's well, you're just, not used to it. That's and, why. And I'm not used to it. Yeah. And I'm not used to it. So you got yeah, those two teach, things teach compiling teach on my brain. I don't know if it's gonna. But that's just me. I think there's something there though. Yeah, yeah there's something there. What, it might be. What do you guys think about that Elliot Sloan tricky and? created which one which one where it's like a weird barrel flipper you know like uh oh, did like a front flip type of deal like yeah. he went to woodward uh in utah and practiced it in the foam pit a bunch of times i went to i watched this on his youtube channel and so and then he took it home and just got it wow was it a front flip rodeo type of deal i don't it's it's wild looking and it looks really cool it looks extremely hard hmm. so yeah, yeah definitely yeah. wear pads <laughs> Yeah, for that yeah. type of shit, you yeah. You got and you got to practice into a foam pit. That's to key. Make sure. Yeah, I'm gonna go try yeah. this. I'm gonna go practice this trick. Where in the foam pit? <laughs> okay, you gotta go. Yeah. You gotta be trying something gnarly then. Yeah, if you're trying it into a foam pit. Have you guys ever seen a a street knee slide? Yeah, my buddy did it one time by accident. <laughs> he fucking spilled coffee and magazines all over the fucking street. <laughs> He just forgot he had, didn't have pads on. That's when pads. That's when pads would you know yeah, be get appropriate. You, like imagine you have knee pads on, but you don't, and then you knee slide out of like a rail. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't know. I wonder if that's happened. Anyway, <laughs> I thought Rick might have seen that of everyone <laughs> out of all the years. Maybe there's a knee. jackass stunt right there. Yeah, there you go. street the knee no slide. padded street knee slide. Fucking easy. By Steve uh, I saw friends' kids did that in the kitchen the other day, and I like just freaked out. I'm like, please don't do that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Gnarly. Rick Cossack, man. Always a pleasure, bro. Thank you so much for stopping by and chatting with us, dude. It's amazing, as usual. Yeah. Yes. Let's Thank get this you, photo thing going. Let's do that when you're done with the whole I'd jackass thing. Uh, be so fun. We'll put our yeah. mug on a mug. Ooh, yeah. and, uh, skate if trick. it's a portrait, yeah. or if it's a skate trick. Both. Both. Yeah, we want both. Yeah. Maybe we could do a limited skateboard deck run, too. Yeah. Ooh, that let's go. Amazing. You're hired, bro. This is the kind of forward thinking that we need here at the Nine Club, man. There we go. You gotta get, you gotta raise funds to get that uh, extra camera so we can see Roger's face. There we go. There we go. See, is Raj? that, the, that what we're raising money for? Yeah, <laughs> the, Ro- the Roger Cam fund. Roger Cam. <laughs> it's POV. Yeah. Trying to get a nice red camera back here. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. The guy wants the best camera not, for himself. Yeah. We have shit. some like other shit over here. He wants the best. He wants a ten thousand dollar camera. Hey. Do it for the best. Anyway, Rick Cossack, thank you again so much, dude. And we'll catch up with you uh, again very soon. Again, we'll have the little session at the beach, mug on a mug, skate trick, maybe a whole collection of stuff. Mugs, decks. Thanks again for having me on. I'm super grateful. And it was fun talking with you guys, you know. Kill kill the time. Always a pleasure, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Hell yeah. Thank you, Rick. Rick Cossack, everybody, huh? (laughs) 